what you're watching right now, if you're watching watching this coverage, is of course a sort of impromptu drama mama coverage where we try to get all of the receipts. We try to make sense of the entire narrative before we pass uh, any final judgment. Uh, and uh, while this one was a little bit less prepared than my usual ones, just because of the nature of how quickly everything dropped, the ukulele video dropped today. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, if you're enjoying the show so far or find it inf informative, make sure you press subscribe down below and smack the like button. Um, I'm gonna try and make sure that this drama makes sense and that you can come to conclusions and know where to find out more information. All right, everybody, let's do it. In we go. Here we go. This is H3H3 has a guest on who is presenting a PowerPoint that puts all of the allegations in one place. I don't really know about any of this, which I guess makes it good drama mama content. Well, to be fair, I didn't know all that much about it before either, but uh, I, again, uh, that ukulele apology really uh, definitely caught my eyes. So uh, let's dive in. Let's do it. Olivia works for him? Oh, okay, sorry. I didn't realize Olivia was part of the H3 crew. My bad. Mistake. Olivia is a part of the crew. That's awesome. Let's do this. This is a beautiful pearl. Thank you for the correction. Well, let's talk about... So you were saying it's more than tea. Yes. Wait, so this has reached national news now, I'm assuming? Oh, uh, by the way, just as a quick live update, okay? Yeah, I'm on the timestamp right now. I, I got the timestamp. Don't worry. Um, just so that we're aware, yes, this is being covered by national news outlets. The first article that we read in this was in the Rolling Stone. The Rolling Stone has already published an article about the ukulele apology. Uh, immense YouTubers, uh, not just uh, H3H3, who we're uh, obviously going to be watching now, uh, but, but even uh, Critical, some of the biggest YouTubers on the channel have already released videos reacting to the ukulele apology. So uh, this is definitely, uh, let me just say, I don't think the ukulele apology has made things better for Colleen Ballinger, AKA Miranda Sings. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right, let's do this. Mudahar and Ludwig already have videos up. Yep, doesn't surprise me. The Colleen yeah. is... It's like decades long, oh, Olivia, very complicated, Olivia. very confusing dynamics that we haven't really seen before because content creators online are a new situation and the way in which they're able to communicate with their fans is very different than it's ever been. Are we talking about potential crimes? I'm not going to allege... You don't know. Crimes or anything. Yeah. That I'll take you crime. through what we know. Crime. And we'll talk about it. All right, let me open the PowerPoint. Let's just, here we go. Let's get this right into it. This is it. We've been building up, folks. Here we go. Cheers, my dudes. Cheers, my dudes. And by the way, she has disappeared since this started, right? Yeah. The Trisha pod, the, the podcast she did with Trisha is, there's no word from it. She they stopped, just stopped vlogging. Posting. They just stopped vlogging. Yeah. We have not gotten this. Pretty thing. heavy duty. Well, here it is. So let's let's figure out what's going on here. Yes, this one's kind of long. Oh, I'm here. That's what I love. Oh, let's go. I'm then. here for the long PowerPoint. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Colleen Ballinger. Yikes. Okay. Um, Powerful start. By the way, nasty. If you're here in chat, I'm just gonna tell you right now. Uh. uh we're gonna be doing this uh, this thumbnail here either tomorrow or day after. So just just prepare, get, get get your ideas together for a thumbnail because we're gonna be getting this stuff out right away. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, so this is Colleen Ballinger. She's a YouTuber. Today she is 36 years old. Next. Guys. Um, a character she portrays is Miranda Singh. Sorry, I have to fix this. Oh, God, no. Damn it. Damn it, I pressed a button wrong, and now I've ruined everything. Here we go. Hold on. Sorry, everybody. I was trying to change the quality, because for some reason it's auto-playing at low quality. There we go. I got to play it at high quality. I can't handle this 36p crap. Let's do this. Emily, what the Three. fuck are you doing? Both of them. It's so weird. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. He's. 
All right, hold on. Get, let cool. me get back into this. I'm sorry, I ruined everything. All here, and then on top of it, you used to be a huge fan. Yeah, we talk about. That's all if in here. If there's anybody I've given all of my time to, like if we had to figure it out, it would probably be Colleen, because so, 2014 to 2020, I just like watched her content. So you are in a unique position to tell us about her. You this know everything is, about her. Um, right. In terms of like. Mm -hmm. Morals. This is a crazy. I am her this biggest is a crazy, fan. crazy thing. Just because how much I used to love her and how much I disagree with everything she you, was doing. The picture you shared with me is that in this? The picture. The one because you wrote the thing for her. Oh yes, yes, that yes. Is. Don't okay, you good, worry. Good. Don't you worry. All right. So let's just go ahead. There's yes. all, the biggest yeah. fan. Okay. So this is Corey. This is her best friend, who lives with her and her husband and her kids. He has lived with her for a, at least five years and. Um, he is always at her side. That is extraordinarily bizarre. Yeah. Why would a grown ass man, 36, want to live with a woman, his friend, and her family? Mm -hmm. Her kids? He's 36. lived with her. Well, she was in a relationship before, yeah. and she was married. And um, then they divorced, and Corey and Colleen lived together. And then as got to know more- I, I don't care. I don't think polycules are weird, but I guess some people do. About Colleen's life and how she met someone new, blah, blah, blah. Um, Corey just- I think the weird part is that all of these people have been incredibly weird towards minors and all of them have a bunch of kids running around the house that they make, that they make into content because they are family bloggers. I think that's, I think that's weird, okay? I think that's the weird part, okay? Not like people living in, uh, at, you know, uh, unusual family setups. Yeah. Dave, he just like has a room. Wait, he- He, he lives there. What if, I'm assuming, he's single, right? Corey? Like if, yeah, I think if so. If you're dating- People see him on like dating apps and stuff. Like how are you gonna, how are you gonna live with a, a family? Baby? What the Three. fuck are you doing? Both of them, it's so weird. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Does he work That's for her? That's like not, yes, he's her assistant and um, he edits her vlogs. Whoa, That's okay. Um, this is Adam, Adam McIntyre. He is a YouTuber. Yes, he's in chat, what's up? Oh, he hey. is? Hey! Um, Adam, please let us know if there's anything that I forget to mention, don't mention. Demon Mama hits the truth again. That's why you watch me. That's why you watch me because I have a, a clear mind on all of these things. Jen, we would love to hear from you. Um, so back to Adam McIntyre, he's a YouTuber who does drama um, videos and he rose to fame summer or spring 2020 and we'll get to it it's in, it's in, the, it's in the PowerPoint. Alrighty. This is Cody Rance, another person in this saga. Um, they were always of age. They participated in group chats and they came out with a video that was the catalyst to this new, this new wave Round. of, yeah, yeah, the new wave. This, this was the person, uh, uh, Cody Rance is the person who verified a bunch of the uh, super questionable group chat messages. This person was cited by the Rolling Stone article that we read earlier in this deep dive. Okay. Okay, this is the Weenies group chat, which is mm. the, the group chat that Colleen was in with young fans. Um, I so yeah, remember how I said Remember how I fucking said about the, uh, remember what I said about the group chat? It's a bunch of 13 to 17 year olds. It's like eight 13 to 17 year olds. I think Adam said that there was a total of 23 people in the group chat, um, mainly 13 to 17 year olds. So Colleen Sorry, had let's hear the number there. a group chat. 13 to, that there was a total of 23 people. 23 people total. A, cele a genuine celebrity, somebody with 10 million followers on a single YouTube account who received Teen Choice Awards, all this shit, has a private group chat with 20 children in it. 
in the group chat, um, mainly 13 to 17 year olds. So Colleen had a group chat that she was very active in with a bunch of her fans and yeah. her fans are young. They're yeah. like 13. Yeah. 13 I to 17. When I see this stuff, it's like I would have really killed to right. be in a group chat. Mm -hmm. Was it like a text group chat or was it like? Yeah, you'll, I, there are so many okay. uh, screenshots and stuff. And so I'm just how were you know. these people selected to be in her? I think it was prominent people on Twitter. So like Adam was really, really active in her live chats and on Twitter, he would at her a bunch. And I think that's just, you would she was looking find for people soldiers. you think are funny. Yeah. The weenies. God, what a fucking horrible name. The Weenies wasn't her first group chat full of minors either. No yeah. surprise she there. She's looking for loyal people. Loyalty. They've all turned on her, by the way. Or I think. I don't know if all... Did all of them turn on her? Pretty much. Ooh. Oof. Yeah, Adam says 23 members, including Jessica and Colleen. Jessica is Colleen's sister-in-law. Um, her sister-in-law her... turned on her? No, no, no. I was like, whoa. No, no, no. Colleen and, and Jessica were the were the adults in the group chat. Okay. Okay. Yes. So this so what is this? I'm looking Okay, at. so these are the Ballinger kids. Um in the middle, that's Rachel Colleen's sister. On the right, that's Chris Ballinger, um, their older brother. He is the husband of Jessica. They have a family channel where they film their kids. Oh, they also have a family channel. If you um, oh, remember, actually, God. a few years ago, do you remember when YouTube was turning off oh, comments? God. Yeah. Um, a big reason was uh, people were time stamping in their comments because I... one of their sons does gymnastics. And, oh, um, God. Yes. And I do remember watching Colleen's vlogs and she talked about it and she said basically like it's such a shame that youtube is turning off the comments and like these people are ruining it for us and it was just like a very interesting outlook on the thing your was, children on video and i remember when that was a thing there was like straight up pedos time stamping yeah. and little boys and girls videos that they just put up for like their family oh, and God. friends and stuff yeah. and then these videos would end up with like hundreds of thousands of views and timestamps to when like they're in a compromising position, it's so, That's so, 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 so vile and disturbing. Mm -hmm. I felt like YouTube disabling the comments, it was either that or like ban kid yeah. content. It was so bad. It was yeah. so gross. But so they, wait, were, they were pretty upset about it when it was happening in the opposite sense that the rest of the world really was. That is so interesting. Yeah. They were the victims, not the kids. Right. The What's her, what's the other family channel's name? I'm curious to look The Ballinger up. family. And then on the left, um, another important figure in this, that's Trent Ballinger, their other brother. Okay, they have a channel called the Ballinger family? Or did they, are they Popular? famous by yeah. association? Or yes. did they exist before I think her? that they rose to fame due to like being in proximity to Colleen and mm -hmm. Miranda Sings, oh but they God, did gain their own so audience. Fucking... And they're a pretty big channel. Let's see, they have uh, two million subs. Seems like the views have dipped a bit. I bet they were on doing crazy numbers like uh, five years ago. Seems like they get about 50,000 per. Let's see, Pop. Yeah, four years ago, they got uh, 34 million. 20 million. Vermin says, have you seen this shit on TikTok where parents post videos of their babies with like candy in their mouths with hundreds of old men calling them beautiful and saying weird shit? It's horrible. No one should post their kids online. Unironically, Family channels are like the mo one of the most like fucked up and evil things on the planet and it actually makes me want to leave to like l become a hermit I, Like okay guys, you don't understand my 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 like hermit My desire to go become a hermit and never talk to the world again has increased by like 80% over the course of this segment You guys have been watching uh, this drama mama, but in my mind all I can think of is becoming a, like a mountain woman like, I, I just, I never, I, I am sick. This shit makes me so sick. Fuck, even in this, look at this. They get like these, uh, look at this shit. They get like thumbnails with their kids doing like yoga poses and shit. 
And keep in mind, they were just talking about how the Ballinger family was super mad that four kids' videos disabled comments because, and the reason why YouTube had disabled comments on four kids' videos is specifically because weird freak pedophiles were leaving comments with timestamps, just like they were talking about. That was like such a big problem that YouTube had to address it. All of this family channel, uh, a uh, uh, weird child exploitation stuff it genuinely makes me want to just never like like just burn all of my youtube presence it makes me want to never touch youtube again it makes me want to just like return to like picking berries and like i don't know getting getting eaten by a bear someday it's so it's so gross and like the family channels do you guys remember like a couple of years ago the the um the the dr the uh drama i don't even want to call it that the controversy around uh uh i think the channel was called daddy of five do you guys remember that shit um it was like this channel that was a family a family channel huge massive massive channel and uh and it was literally just this horrible monstrous dad pranking his kids constantly for video content most of the pranks involved him like destroying their possessions um one of the pranks was like he trashed their room when they were outside and then when they came back in he freaked out about how their room was trashed even though he trashed it and then he gaslit a literal child like under the age of 10 he gaslit them into believing that they were the ones who trashed the room and not him and this was like getting millions of views on youtube it was just abuse it was just child abuse for content And yeah, like, yeah, Somnio Sadik says, like, why would you do that to me is like a literal quote from one of the children. The children were just being abused for content for millions of views to make money for the parents. And keep in mind, that was just one of the channels that got exposed. As you can see, as of right now, as of this video, the Ballinger family has 2.05 million subscribers. Ukulele apology ladies little family videos at making turning their kids into content I hate this shit so much god it, it actually makes me boy it makes me fucking feel horrible all right, we got to move on. I can't sit here and dwell on this depressing stuff. We got to move on. 18 we million. Finish this. Yeah, those that was with the family vlog days, man. Those were the days. Crazy. Okay. Yes. All right, and then we can speed through the the rest of the people. This is um Colleen's husband, Eric Stockland. He's not really in this, but if we mention Eric, that is her current husband. Okay. And then um this is Joshua Evans, her ex husband yeah, Little Morphine Annie says, Daddy of Five, Ace Family, Eight Passengers, all of those family blog people. Yep. Husband. Um, if we mention Joshua, this is Joshua. Okay. So, Colleen had a lot of success mm. over this past decade. She did a Netflix show that she co-wrote, co-made with her brother, Chris, called Haters Back Off. It had two seasons. Um, they filmed in Canada and Colleen still says it's the best time of her life. That's where she met her husband. He was her love interest. Oh, he was an actor. He is an actor. And okay. He was on that show with her. Interesting. Yeah. And so was she married? Did she cheat on her, on her husband? How did that work? It is, um, Spec speculated. Uh, he certainly alludes to it. She denies it adamantly. You'll see in like some like screenshots with children. She's talking about it. She clearly cheated on him. I mean, I remember when it was all happening, and I felt very. Is that Seinfeld? Yes, that's her icky. with Seinfeld. You didn't like it. I was, I was very confused. Here's her with Seinfeld. Here's her with Jimmy Fallon. Apparently, she went on with Stephen Colbert. She was on St the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon three times. She had a Netflix show. 
confused because she shares so much of her life with literally everybody. Oh my God. Dan, our shit just fucking crashed. The end you'll see it even worse for her. There's more to come? Yeah. What? Oh my, oh, oh my God. Based on the, some of the weenies uh, oh boy, storm that's happening. Oh yeah. I think it's going to get even worse for her. There's more to come? Yeah. What? Based on the some of the weenies uh, tweets. Oh my, oh oh my god. Okay. The I, weenies was that the? Okay, I'm sorry. Can we put a like? I I think that calling them the weenies should be banned. I think it should like, we we need to like find there needs to be a different way. It needs to stop. It's making me genuinely uncomfortable. And just just imagine, uh, Colleen Ballinger chose to call them that. Incredible. By the way, isn't it amazing that all of this happened because somebody decided to stunlock me with that ukulele apology video? And now we're doing a drama mama? I work so hard for my lovely viewers, just so you guys know. I could have just watched the ukulele video and then left you all in the dark. Instead, I'm actually making sure we know what the hell we're talking about so none of you sound like idiots out there. When people ask, when every single person on the internet is talking about the ukulele video, now you're gonna know what's actually up with it. All of my content that I had planned today is gonna have to be delayed to the next stream because this is gonna take forever. But I will say, it's interesting and I think it's actually unironically important. I think it's actually important to make a big deal when shit like this gets shown. When when people get exposed for taking advantage of their fans this way, um, when, when people u utilize this type of manipulation towards literal children that are in their audience, I think it's important to blow it up as big as possible, to educate as many people as possible, unironically because i think it's horrible i think the family channel abuse thing is horrible i think using kids for content is horrible i think uh the way that enormous gigantic celebrities get away with unfettered access to kids is disgusting so oh on screen chat it broke i'll fix chat hold on give me a second here There you go, fixed. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. So So we're on success over the past decade. Yeah. Is that where we were? Yeah, yeah, right here. So she has her Netflix special. She went on Jimmy Fallon a bunch for both seasons she went on. She has comedy special and she went on uh, uh, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee with Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, and I've talked about that at length because before I even had an opinion about her or her character, mm -hmm. I, I was a fan of that show, and that is the worst episode. <laughs> I, I, and I mean that genuinely because the whole point of the show is that the guest drops their guard and they connect as comedians, mm. as real people. Thanks. But That's she funny. went there in character, yeah. and she would not drop the character the whole time, and it was just Not funny. so painful to watch. Interesting. I mean, yeah. you, you have the opportunity to sit with Jerry Seinfeld for a whole day, and you're going to go be a fucking silly character well apparently That's he fun. he liked her so much he brought her to jimmy fallon that night oh, it was a night that she wasn't supposed to be there he oh. brought her to play a game with him they jerry played, like, was taken with her he must have been i don't know here's my theory he has a daughter that's like your age oh so he he saw his daughter in her yeah. no he was doing it for her oh he's trying to be the cool dad a fan? yeah for Aww, sure she's a fan he's, he wanted to do it for her for sure well done, guys. Okay, so, and then also the Haters Back Off had two seasons, so it was yeah. relatively successful, although it got canceled in the end, right? It did get canceled. Um, it had, like, Angela from The Office was one of the leads. It it, oh it was a well-produced show. It was hmm. funded. It was good. And we're talking about this more, I assume. The show? About how she met her a husband i'm curious about that we can talk about it um because so what happened was she's married to this guy so okay she went i'm gonna take you on a journey she got married summer i think 2014 or 2015 and then um the next summer 
is when she filmed season one of Haters Back Off. Wow, just one year of marriage? So, yes. Jeez. So she went away for the summer, and all of us, all of us, <laughs> me and the comments I read at the time, um, we're just like, why isn't she talking about Josh anymore? She's crying a bunch. She is not telling us why she's crying a bunch. Josh doesn't oh mention her God. anymore. Josh what do you got mean she's dog. crying a bunch? Just randomly? Yeah, she would she would like be crying in her vlogs and she would just talk about how she was having a hard day. She was feeling really anxious and sometimes she wouldn't get into it. And um, yeah, it, it just caused a bunch of people to wonder what was going on. Josh, her husband, Every single time we do one of these things, talking about these crazy famous people, I realize like it's the it's it's got it's like the biggest like mood buff or or not mood buff. It's like the biggest confidence buff. Cuz I have my shit together so much more than these ridiculous celebrities who supposedly have accomplished things in their lives who are like breaking down and crying on their vlog channel like man it makes me feel like such a functional and and like healthy adult by comparison i'm just like wow i really maybe i do have it figured out Maybe, maybe these motherfuckers are the ones who do not have, I mean, pretty clearly they're not the ones who have it figured out. It's just, I gotta say, on a personal level, I, my, I get a confidence boost when I find out how messy and fucked up and, and maladjusted these celebrities are. Holy moly. By the way, Kiwi TP, thank you very, very much for the incredibly generous tier two sub. Deeply appreciate the support. Thank you all for supporting the show. And don't forget to like the stream. Thank you. Let's continue. Got a dog, which I kind of see as he was like, he got He's a new coping. companion for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, so she came home to visit, I remember one time and they like barely even vlogged together and it was very weird. And then at the end of the summer, like September-ish, they both released separate statements that they were getting a divorce. Amanda donated, she says she was only homeschooled for one year. Uh, well, she talks about being homeschooled literally every every single day. Oh, okay. So. Uh, Olivia knows her shit. Yeah, don't I don't know what to tell authority. you. Like, she always refers to herself as the homeschool kid. It, so, she, in my opinion, she goes up to film this, sh this show. Her co-star is her husband now. I mean, come on. Even yeah. if they didn't, like weren't into well, it, there yes. was clearly an emotional yes. cheating like, So cheating. here we go. I'm going to take you what happened. Okay. They announced their divorce. That December, Colleen goes um, to Hawaii, something that she she would love to vlog when she was in Hawaii. And it was that time of the year. And Eric went with them, the guy who was in her show, the mm -hmm. love interest from her show, who is one of her great friends. We could tell from like videos and stuff. People were just like, oh, interesting. And Angela came for like two days and then she left, but Eric stayed with Colleen and her family. And um, people- Dweller on the threshold says, ukulele apologies are the ideal. You know what? I'm actually changing my mind slowly. I think that the ukulele apology has actually guaranteed that this gets exposed. A ukulele apology is such a bad idea. It's such a horribly incompetent idea for an apology that it's basically going to guarantee that everyone sees all of this horrible behavior that's been going on. So maybe ukulele apologies are ideal, huh? Heavy Gretel with the tier one sub, thank you very, very much. Deeply appreciate that. People saw in the back of her first day in Maui, she was like doing a little hula dance in the bathroom and Eric's trunks were in, um, Oh. the sink or like they were hanging and so all of the comments were like eric showered in your room blah 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 and there's a clip of her the next day being like you guys are so crazy you guys are insane and then she had like a very detailed story of how like they checked in and the room wasn't ready so then they went to the beach and then the other room wasn't ready so he showered in her room like she gave us an explanation that's pretty nasty so yeah she was i think she was probably with him then i i I Eric Coffee says, I've already seen about three or four different thumbnails about the best or worst YouTube apology ever. Did she actually apologize for grooming minors for playing the, by playing the ukulele and singing? Correction. She actually 
not apologize. She actually refused to apologize and in fact said that all of the people who accused her of that were liars and haters. So to be fair, she didn't actually apologize. She, she apologized for unspecified oopsies and then said that everybody else was trying to kill her and that her life was ruined because people lied about her. And as it turns out, as far as we can tell so far, no, actually, uh, the main people who have brought forward these allegations have come forward with an incredible amount of evidence. So, uh, yeah. Let's go. Kids so, there? What's up? Wait, do they have kids? Who, Eric and Colleen? Yeah. Not at this point. Okay. No. So, okay, I got you. I got no, you. no, no. So that happened. Hawaii. People are like, oh, I'm shipping them, but they're not together because they keep saying they're just friends. Um, then like a year goes by, and then all of a sudden, in a video, they announce that they're dating. And then a week later, they announce that they are engaged and she is pregnant. So, okay, listen, maybe... They're soulmates and they're meant to be together, but I mean, that's fucked up. You got married a year ago. I mean, shit, yeah. give it some time, lady. She shares so much of her life and she has a podcast with her husband and the fact that they haven't told the story of how they fell in love. They haven't? No, not really. And they don't give t like days and they don't, yeah. It's just the way she describes it is that very quickly. Can Very I, quickly, they decided they were the person for each other, and then they wanted a baby. Can I put out a theory? I feel in a way she big-timed her ex-husband. Well, if you... Yeah, we there are screenshots of her talking about him with the oh, children. with the children. Yes. Oh, children. that sounds exciting. Wow, the kids got the front row seat to her divorce. They did. And you know what? I wanted that. You wanted Like, that. when I got my grubby little fingers on these screenshots, I was like... Oh my God, the amount of time oh, I spent so wondering so. and trying to dissect videos. So, okay, so the summer after, okay, Josh releases after they announce they're having a baby. He, um, now he is sober and he's doing well, I think. Um, but at the time he was drinking very heavily and he went on a live stream and on that live stream, he was very drunk and very angry. And he did say, quote, I know what Colleen did to me. My family knows what Colleen did to me. Um, yeah. Why we've been She definitely cheated on him. Yeah, I don't know. Come on. Um, but okay, there it is. Got it. So, oh, is, does that answer your questions about? I think so. Husband? Okay. Yeah. Moving yeah. on. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. I think she got caught up in this life of fame. I think she was doing the show. She was amongst all these famous actors, Wait. and she big timed her. She's like, "Listen, I can do better. I, I need to date. I need to date up." Adam said in the chat, she sent videos of Eric in the pool during that Hawaii trip, saying how sexy he was. Ew, so ew. It wasn't that long after they announced their divorce. All right, I don't know. Let's move I don't know. On. I don't yeah. know. You know too much. Beyond Safe Word says, Josh was abusive to a different kid who was hired to work on Colleen's tour pre-Adam. Yes, we, re we heard about that in the Rolling Stone article. In the Rolling Stone article, they talked about her her former husband being abusive towards uh, a, a another literal child that they were extracting free labor from. About this. I know a lot about it. That's right. the truth. All right, here we go. Next slide. Okay. Okay, my own personal credentials, great timing. This is a card I made for Colleen in 2014 when I went to one of her live shows. Um, it says, Colleen. Okay, hold on, I, I've been, okay, never mind. let's go. I put all my <laughs> scrapbooking stickers. <laughs> let's be honest, it's ugly, right? I was a little more talented than that. Uh, no, this is pretty great for a kid. I don't I, think this is impressive. 2014, for a kid. I was like, How old 14. were you? That's fine. Come on, don't be so <laughs> like hard on yourself. Okay, well, thank you so much for saying that. What's Let's the see Taco the Bell? Is that an inside joke? What? Taco Bell? Mm -hmm. And tea cow is something she used to say all the time. Taco Bell was her favorite food. I'd like Taco Bell. Let's look at the inside. I could eat Taco Bell. We respect Bell right that, now, frankly. Ooh. I mean, I would, you know <laughs> me. <laughs> so, Colleen. Hold Firstly, on, this is so iconic photo of you. Oh, it's <laughs> insane. I don't remember taking that, for sure. 
That was on the car ride home. Go ahead, sorry. Um, Colleen, firstly, I would like to tell you that you have changed my <laughs> life forever. <laughs> I am a musical theater geek. And then I X this out because there's absolutely no way I'm oh, showing you what on. it says. Nope. <laughs> Too embarrassing. Um, uh. But seeing who you are now, even after you were an awkward teen who didn't fit in, changed who I am, how I present myself, and what I want to be. Aww. I want to be just like you is a crazy thing for me to say. I said, in all caps, I want to be just like you. That's I hope one intense. day. I want to wear your skin. Guys, this next line. <laughs> I hope one day I am able to connect with people the way you do. Ooh. I don't want that. Ooh. But here's the thing. Don't feel bad. This is this is actually a really insightful because it, this is how her fans see her yeah. then. And yep. also, Ethan's right. They look to her like, oh, she's. Yep. Just... Ethan's right. Yep. Ethan is actually right. This is super illustrative of the sort of parasocial effect. This is the power of celebrity. Very she's the cool adult. Yep. Yeah, she's a cool adult. The big sister. Because you're a kid, you know. Yeah. But it's real. This is actually super interesting. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I hope to connect with people the way you do. Um, I hope to find somebody who loves me as much as Josh loves you. Whoops. Wow. Oop. Oops. <laughs> when I got my wisdom teeth out, all I did was go home and rewatch your video so I could smile and get through it. I love you, Colleen. You are my idol. Love, Olivia. <laughs> So can I ask, how did you, you meant this at the time, right? You meant all this. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. powerful. It, it I was, was powerful. obsessed. Yeah. So as we move on to this group chat, just put yourself in the state of mind that clearly right. Olivia was in. Yeah. This is her fans loved her. Mm -hmm. They idolized her. It was very interesting that you got, clearly you did not get this letter to her. No, I did. These are photos I took before I went to the oh, show. Oh, wow. You hold on to these for a while. Yeah. Wow, good for you. Thank you. These really I paid knew off. I would do a PowerPoint one day. Yeah. Okay, so you so how did you deliver the letter to her? Did you there was there like a meet and greet? Yeah, if you you brought it and then you just leave it at the door with security and they said that they would give it to her. They probably just threw that shit in the trash. No. Uh, no, we she know read it. She had security's it. like, I'll throw all this out for you guys. Just <laughs> leave it with me. You know what? I'd rather it that way. Maybe yeah, it would maybe be better, it would be better actually. that way. I was young. Obviously they didn't, but it would be it would have been healthier that way. Okay. She this... did talk to children. You were okay. just, yeah. My mm -hmm. own personal credentials, there's more. That's, I have a video of me crying watching her get married. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, I, there's more. Wait, I can watch the video of you crying? You can if you want to. I can't believe I, I look to. that way. This is a re-upload? Yeah. Oh my God, you're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> So like, how did you dig this up? Oh, Snapchat stories. Oh, it saves it? Yeah. Wow. You're yeah. so sweet. Can you we care. believe this? She cheated on him a year what later, that man. Was my, that was my she had maybe. Maybe. soundboard dying. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is amazing. Okay, and then next, yeah, um, my sophomore year of college. This is 2019. Colleen uh, starred in Waitress. She got a guest spot with Todrick Hall, um, and she was one of the leads, and I love that musical and her. So it was my first week of school, and I got myself a ticket, and I went to New York to see her because in her vlogs, she was like, if you come and support me, please come and support me. I will stay and talk with all of you. I and she was like talking about how she stays for hours, and she was like really, hyping it up about like she talks to the people who go for her and she like even had a, a time when a girl wasn't there for her so she didn't talk to her it was like there was drama happening so i was like i need to go i need to be there Hold and on, i need what? to support a her a girl wasn't there what was that there was a girl who didn't go see the show and was just out there to meet her and didn't have a program yeah and, and she, she talked to her yeah and uh in one of her vlogs she tells a story about how like no you didn't you didn't Get a ticket to see oh, me Oh, so perform. she didn't talk to her. She did talk to her, but she was like, "You guys like don't show up if you if you're not." So you waited outside to meet me. I so yeah. Even though I you're did. a child that doesn't have so I'm just trying to understand this. She was berating the child who didn't pay for the <laughs> ticket. No, 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 no. This is this is a this is a tangent. But she does have a video where she was talking about a girl didn't have a program, and the mother was like, "Please just talk to her. Like she loves you." And so in her vlogs, she complained that night about how some people are 
getting fake fans more than others and others are spending more money and it's not fair and oh my god yeah. can't believe she okay. fake fa she, she so where did treated you... a child badly for being a quote-unquote fake fan what an insane what an absolutely deranged person what an insane relationship to have with your literal children fans you fly from for this ohio also, yes, Olivia's makeup looks fantastic. Olivia's whole look looks awesome, I gotta say. Okay, so you did a whole trip this year. I did. And. But I'm from Ohio, though. Why <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I stayed at that stage door for. Oh, you had good seats, too, huh? I did, yes. I oh, stayed for at least an hour and a half, I think. And she didn't talk to many people. Really, she schmoozed with like the front row. She had people give their programs in like stacks of 10 and push them up so she could sign them and put them back. I understand it's a lot of people. I just thought that I was gonna know her, you know? Like after, that's the way she made it seem. Is you that, were gonna get to Yeah, and with that's her. Corey right there holding the bags. And he was one of her best, fr he is one of her best friends. I was obsessed with him. I thought he was hilarious. Wait, where is he? He's the one, his back is turned holding the bags. On the in the photo on the right this video no 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 no, no. go back to the slide oh oh the this. stage door yeah oh so that's a photo i took at the stage door colleen's in the striped shirt corey is wearing the bags oh. corey didn't talk to one person he stood against the wall with like a very sour i am not one to be like they seemed very not happy and I think I gestured toward him, like, can I please have a photo? And then I saw someone actually ask, and he was like, stop. Or he said something like, no. And I was like, no. Okay, so, okay, wow. So yeah. the experience was when you left, how were you feeling about I the experience? I was very, very sad. You I was with my sister, she remembers. Yeah. Yeah. Disappointed. I was very disappointed. That's a great way to put it. Did but you I still have the play, I mean, I still have the playbill just because at the time I didn't let it good thing you saved all this shit yeah I know right Dan are you loving this story yeah yeah it's... oh man he Dan. was he was snoozing Dan Dan is not a drama fiend why, why what you always Dan look like uh, you're just not a drama fiend like Dan. me I get it oh yeah no I mean I he's dealing with a tech issue I don't want to be a, yeah I don't want to be a hater why are you putting me on the spot like sorry yeah. No, I don't really care about this. No, I don't. Yeah, I that's, mean, that's it's, okay. it's okay, okay that you don't care about it. <laughs> I didn't until I saw Olivia crying. Now I mean, I yeah, this this, I care this presentation about has been funny. I, I enjoyed the uh, video of uh, just, teenage I Olivia crying over a TV man. show. But, I uh, will say I did drop a few tears last night while I was making this. It was mm. like weird and like personal in a, in a crazy way. Well, you were also there's, there's you were a, invested in this. this I was girl. invested. There's a <sighs> clip in here um, from one of Adam's videos that really oh, really man. made me very um, upset. Anyway, You'll here's see. this is you shooting. Uh, yeah, we saw it, it was very interesting. Yeah. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this is the <sighs> catalyst for all of this. March 2020, Colleen posts as Miranda sings. Surprise announcement, 30 minutes, you're not ready. And it looks like Miranda's about to come out. That does look like that. Right. Um, Miranda then posts, I have a secret. I'm coming out today for you all. This has been so hard to come to terms with, but I'm proud. I stand before you today as a Megan Trainer fan. I hope you can all accept me. That's like a funny joke, but it is queer baiting. And people pointed it out. So Colleen released this statement. What we did not know at the time. Next. Well, hold on. I want to read the statement. Oh, okay. <clears throat> it's basically just her saying, I'm sorry that I did that. It's This is very not me. I deleted it. Yeah, I think if you did that joke today, it'd be more obvious. Like, people would be like, dude, that's fuck That's not cool. Yeah, I guess queer bidding was like, this was 20, summer 2020. That's just one I the, mean, uh, yeah, spring. Okay. Not that it was ever okay. Okay, don't come for me. Right. Jesus Christ. Right. I, I hear the grumbling already. <laughs> <clears throat> Colleen Ballinger says, I agree with you and I regret it. Which is why I deleted it. I'm deeply sorry. Miranda is a character. So this, this right here is what we now ha we watched that video, Adam's video, Adam McIntyre's video, where he described what was going on in the background of this. We have the background of this. Oh, she's I I hate that excuse. Just yeah. a character. A lot of the time, I base the character on people who are idiots. I'll see people do awful and then do it as Miranda and show them how idiotic it looks. But this shouldn't have been tweeted. Okay, queer baiting is wrong. Period. 
I am the biggest supporter and ally of the LGBTQ plus community. And the fact that I disappoint people in that community is devastating. Okay, good apology. Mm -hmm. What we did not know at the time was Could have that done the without the it's a character thing. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. The person behind those tweets was Adam McIntyre, one of Colleen's um, most dedicated fans with the best intentions, might I say. Um, Adam identified. <laughs> <Excuse me. laughs> <The guy. laughs> which which Adam's gay. Adam was 17 at the time. He didn't need to know better. <clears throat> wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, wait. Which was tweet? he so, 17? What so the, the tweet? I think he was wait 2020. So yeah, he would have been actually like 17 at the time of that. Coming tweet. out. I'm coming out as a tr Megan Trainer stan. Yeah. If you. So Adam was working for Colleen. In those group chats, he would give her ideas, Big and idea. then they would DM back and forth. And it happened so often that she ended up giving him her login to post wow. for her. On yes. her socials? On her socials for Miranda Sings. Fuck. Yes. And um, Adam so he wrote cleared this. this. He had cleared this idea <clears throat> with her before he posted it. So he wrote this? He no, wrote I don't, this I don't know if he wrote the... The I agree with you, I regret it. He made the Megan Trainer tweets. I'm, I'm for Miranda. Yeah, yeah. I'm a okay. Yeah. So, um, it did not go over well. She let him know. He, oh, if you go to the next uh, slide, so she messages him. It's all anyone is talking about. I'm really upset. I never would post something like that. Now everyone thinks I'm homophobic. I'm really, really upset. Okay, hold on. So she's getting shit, and then she talks to 17-year-old yeah. Adam is like, you fuck She's me. kind of like, it's your fault. <clears throat> she's kind of blaming it on him. I see, I see. Right. That was the when, video we watched, and we know that she also approved of that, that she basically took it out on this literal kid who was like 17 at the time of this, but had been getting roped into the fandom and had been a part of her private group chats, had been sent lingerie at age 15 or 14 by her. That's what we know from that video. He was a 17 year old. Yeah, told him to do it and then blamed him for it and tra traumatized him by not only blaming him for it, but then uh, talking shit about him all over the place who did not know better and did not. Dude, she gave him her login. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I wouldn't, hell no, man. Yeah. I would never give that out to anybody, let alone a child. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and everybody in the He apologized room, profusely and was like, I logged out, everything's okay. Like, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, and then she ghosts him and they, her, his idol stops talking to him. And, they... and then he begins to hear, he was kicked out of weenies. She kicked him out of weenies for this? She dropped his ass from the group chat? And Dude, Adam that's was told, cold. Adam was told that they were talking shit about him. Dude, that is so messed up. Yes, so this in the middle, that is a text that Adam then sent to Col uh, yeah, sent to Colleen saying, I've been told by multiple people that you and Corey have been ru uh, running around saying I run a hate account for people who, who uh, for people who support you, which is extremely disappointing that your mind would go to that place. I'm aware, and so are my parents. Um, and I have screenshots of everything from the past few weeks that Corey has said about me and in relation to you about me in these group chats, and also everything else before, but never thought you'd stoop to that level, especially due to the 17-year-old age gap. Talk to me in 16 years if a 33-year-old takes advantage of Flynn for years and then runs shit talking runs shit talking him on Twitter. You wanna play that game? Why do you even bother following me? So she was 33? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. She was 33 and she was playing a, she was playing a mean girls game with a 17 year old? Yes. Who was working for her for free. Yes. Posting to her social account and she, she gave was, him the login. Mind you, she was talking to him <laughs> like one day, like if this works, we'll get you set up and like we'll get you a, an actual position. Like she was, she was promising him a job, pretty much, if things went well. And he was one of the chosen weenies, so they and were tied. She explicitly, he was the, he she was explicitly like, promised him a job. We we saw the we saw the the messages that she promised him a job if it went well. 
So she got a bunch of huge tweets out of it, which were successful. She said were successful, and one tweet went wrong, and she freaked out on him, and then d did like social decimation on this kid. The favorite. And she for kicked police. him from the group. I can't get over how mean girl that is. And so at the top, this screenshot on the right is from Colleen's video. So her messages are going to be on the right. She responded to Adam, take advantage of Flynn. What are you talking about? What does Flynn have to do with everything? How dare you bring my son into your drama? I didn't say anything about you. I've never said anything but nice to you. I've never been anything but nice to you. I haven't said one word about you. I'm not going to argue with you or talk smack about you. I just wish blah, blah, blah. Um, Adam's mom then responds to Colleen and says, oh. this is Adam's mom. Oh. Yeah. It is not nice when your child is brought into things. But if you have read it correctly, you would have seen that he wasn't, and it was a comparison that was being made. Mother to mom, mother, you may now make. understand. Never speak my son's name again and tell your side, uh, and tell your sidekick the same applies to him. Ooh, oh, your sidekick. Yeah. Mom Ooh, got involved. Yeah. Okay, listen. Badass, let's go. No, if I'm Colleen, which is hard to put myself <laughs> right, in this insane in situation. Shoes. But if, once you get the message back from the mom, I have a feeling that's kind of a little bit scary, scary because all of a sudden accountability becomes a real thing. Right. You're like, oh, fuck. Right. Talking to an adult now. Yeah. Yo, this is crazy. Yeah, this is just 2020. We are not even close. Oh, my God. Yeah. So Adam posts this video. Colleen Ballinger, stop lying. Okay. After this stuff happens. And because his idol totally dropped him, he felt very exploited, very used, very hurt. And they were talking shit about him. Which so he, he posted this video he where he tells the story of the exploitative relationship and being dropped. What was the time? And what was the time difference between their fallout and this video? This video was posted April 28th. And the Miranda Sings coming out tweets were March 26th. So like a... So like a month. A month. Yeah. That's super effed up. Yeah. Like, girl, like, let's be real. Whatever he tweeted, even if he just tweeted something super racist and messed up, I mean, that's a far cry, but like, you gave yep. him your login account. Whatever and he's he a minor. does... Yes, whatever he does there is your fault. Yeah. End of story. Mm -hmm. Also, she okayed the idea. She told Adam it was a good idea. Well, then there really is fucked up. Right. So in this video, Adam doesn't touch on like the inappropriate text messages. He like alludes to the fact that she would talk to him sometimes about her divorce, but he did not include the screenshots that you will see later that are very explicit and weird. Jesus. Um, but he did include this moment from a live stream when Colleen was giving away clothes and she ended up sending lingerie to Adam. Okay. Let's watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adam! Oh my god. Oh my god. Please give me the dress. Oh my god. His, those clothes are nasty. He's so rude. Oh my god. You guys. You're killing me. Okay. Oh my god, he's so sassy. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Uh, Adam just donated <laughs> or left a comment. He said no. Adam, a member for six months. Aww. Sweetheart. Let's go. He says, um, no, she approved the tweets four times. He said, or maybe, maybe he said that before you. Yeah, and then he said thank it. you, yeah. Olivia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Olivia knows everything. Adam, don't worry. Thank you. He says he was 14 <laughs> at the time. Trans girl Jade with the incredibly generous tier three sub. Thank you so much for supporting the show. I feel like my brain is melting, but here's some extra money to help Demon Mama be less broke. I do appreciate that. I'm not actually broke at the moment, but the money does help. Uh, uh. It's expensive running a show like this. We have a full team. Uh, so thank you. Really means the world to me. This is a viewer-supported show. We basically get very little from ad revenue. So thank you very much. I'm so ah! when, he was when the bra With the bra, yeah. Oh, at this time. Yeah. It's 14. <laughs> when this live stream happened and 14 she sent years the bra, old. Just remember, 14. so now we have confirmation. Adam was 14 when the lingerie sending happened. 14. 
Do you, when's the last time like any of you guys actually look, spent time with a 14 year old? Like they are children. Right? You forget how young, how immature a 14 year old is. It's a, it's a child. Yeah. Like really. Look at a picture of you when you were 14. You're like, oh my God. 14. <laughs> Fuck you. Right. That one sounded legit. <laughs> Your Twitter account is making me laugh so much. Clean boobs are bursting out of every outfit I approve. <laughs> Corey is still chilling with lingerie on. Ew, that's an ugly shirt. No, put that shirt in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> She's reading, oh she's going God. over his Twitter yeah. account. Yeah. 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 She's laughing at all the funny stuff he says. Do you want the bra, Adam? Do <laughs> you want the bra panties? Tweet right now. That's Corey. Oh my God. Yeah. That's like uh, lingerie. Well, that's not even like a bra, right? Yeah, that's and panties. That's like. It's a matching set. And, and it had the tag still on. However, she did still. It, Adam made it very, very clear in his new videos when he's talking about this that Colleen, um, in her apology video, which is in the next slide, um, she didn't show the part where she says, do you want it, Adam? She says in her video, oh, Adam wants the panties, which, is, which came later when Adam responded. It was like, yes, I want them. Yes, I want them. Yes, I want them. Please send me something. So, so why it's did an they, interesting. Why were the panties out? Or why was the lingerie we out? Were, it's, it was a Forever 21 haul, and okay. they were going over, like through clothes that she doesn't want anymore. OK. Okay. What do you want? He's in Ireland. Hi, Adam. I love you. Okay. I'm sending him something. Oh my god, that made me laugh Dude, so hard. Dude, stop. What is he doing? Shade. Stop. You, you shaded me so name. hard. Okay, maybe he'll <laughs> want the panties. Although, then his parents will be like, you're not allowed to watch who is sending you panties. Yeah, that's right? actually funny because that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You knew What's that. Your it was like that. So I'm just trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to internalize this whole pan emailing business. Right. He's 14. You'll see I have linked her response to it when in her apology you'll hear her explanation for it. I mean, yeah. It, but if we want to de like deconstruct it morally, that's a crazy thing that she did. That's what I'm trying. I'm just yeah. trying to f I'm trying to understand her perspective. I'm trying to understand. I mean, he's 14. If mm -hmm. a it's Adam's insane. mom is it's like. Where did you get it's this pair of lingerie? Oh, my favorite YouTuber sent ah, yeah, mailed it to me. An absolutely insane. I'd be really? like, excuse me? Yeah. Like, you gave your address? Like, I I know that that's not dangerous and it wasn't ever a dangerous thing, but like, just I would be like, you gave you gave a, someone on the internet our address? He's a kid, though. It's no, it his wasn't fault. his fault. Yeah, it's, it's the adult's fault. fault. Let me send you lingerie. If, Give if, me your address. If nothing else, it really she shows knew he was 14. an ex Yes, we, we, we confirmed before. She did know that he was 14. They even make a joke about it. If you watch the f the longer clip from that stream, they even joke, oh, your mom's going to get mad at us. Hey, he, he, ha. Uh. It's, it's fucked up. This is, it's off the rails level of inappropriate. Extremely poor decision making uh, capacity Absolutely. for her end. <laughs> on both of their parts, you know, Corey and worry. yeah. I watched a boy wear them <laughs> online first. <laughs> and she's her ass is thirty. Yeah. Okay. Oh my. God. So, did we see enough here? Yes, we we have seen enough here. Okay. So, Colleen's apology video. This is her response. Well, hold on. So, what was Adam? Uh, we uh, Adam what? talked about the bra stuff in just the bra video. stuff. He talked about the bra stuff and their relationship and how she had worked. And how he had worked for her, and she did. He didn't get paid, and all the stuff we talked about with the with the mom DM and everything. Did he say that he was kicked out of the group and all this, or you d did he, the did the the tweet come up? The pride tweet come up? The pride tweet or the, the Megan Trainer that was yeah. the catalyst for everything. Yeah. So he talked about yes. that in his video. Yes. Everything we talked about is out in the world at this point. Okay, and he showed the DMs and everything. Yep. Yep. And I remember when this video came out. It was a pretty big deal because yeah, I remember huge. seeing his video. It's amassed over 3.7 million views. So that's pretty significant. Right. Okay. So she responded. Yeah, I linked the. It's time stamped. 
Let's take a look. Weeks ago, someone had made a video saying some shocking and hurtful things about me, and a lot of you wanted me to address it, and I didn't. I didn't address it not because I was just ignoring it and hoping it would go away, but because when this person messaged me, letting me know they were upset, I responded. Hold on. She's already characterizing this in a fucked up way. She's yes. saying this person, yeah. fourteen year old child, yeah, who fourteen year old, was exactly, obsessed yes. with you, and you were Correct, their hero Ethan. slash Correct, maybe still Ethan. are. This person, yeah. I mean, you're already stretching the truth with even that. Right. Immediately. I was very shocked and confused. I expressed I didn't know what they were talking about, and I also expressed frustration that they were trying to bring my son's name into their drama. Then I received a message from this person's mother asking me to not speak his name. So I was trying to respect the mother's wishes and the parents' wishes of this 17-year-old. But it has gotten to a point... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. 17 or 14? He was 14 when the brawl was sent. He was 17 when she he oh, okay. posted right. the Megan Trainor so They were stuff. They, he continued to be a fan of hers for right. three years. That is yes. a Coke Zero, yes. And then shit hit the Excellent fan. Excellent choice. Yeah. I love Coke Zero. After the Megan Trainor tweet. Yeah, a very dedicated fan. Got it. Where there are so many rumors and lies and speculations going around, I feel like I need to address it. I do have receipts proving the things that I'm about to tell you. How I so she's saying the reason she kicked him out of the weenies group is because of the mom's... Message? No, she's saying that she didn't want to address this because the mother said in her message, do not speak my son's name again. Yeah, I'm sure that's why you didn't talk about it. Right. However, yeah. I feel uncomfortable sharing them because he is a minor. So I'm only going to be showing you the things that were between adults or things that were already public. The biggest issue that came from his video is that I sent a child yeah, underwear. Wow, and how, <clears throat> how fucking convenient that you wouldn't fucking send all the times you were telling a minor, I love you, oh, I love you, you're so, ah, uh, you're so good, yeah, yes, queen, work for me. Let me see pictures of your ass. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Wow, anyone who heard this out of context and was offended- no, what? <laughs> what do you mean out of context? It's fucked. I completely understand because I would be too. But in this situation, context is everything. So I would like to give you some context to this situation. Four years ago, I did a live stream and in this live stream, I did a giveaway. I was giving away clothes that were unused, tags still on, brand new, that I had just bought that I did not want. One of the items that was in this box was a really ugly pair of underwear. As soon as we pulled them out, Corey and I started laughing and joking around about how ugly they were. Why did I buy these ridiculous underwear? It was so stupid. I just got big old box from Forever 21 and I want to open it up in front of you guys. Maybe I'll send the ones I don't want to you guys. I got a bunch of crop tops. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> the panties, the panties from you. <laughs> and people started asking for them in the live stream. Everyone wants that bra. You want the bra? Everyone wants the bra. At the end of the live stream, I was done giving away clothes and then this boy who made this video Man. about me recently, he asked for the underwear. Yay, we picked people. I think that's enough. Is that boy win these or not? I don't know. He has to tell me what he wants. What do you say? <laughs> Is he being mean? He said, um, hi, you have ugly clothes, but I want those ratchet panties and bra signed by Corey. She didn't include well. the no. clip of her going, you want the bra, Adam? Okay. Which is what the first thing was. Right. Which is just an, it's just an interesting edit. So, yeah, a little selective yeah. for sure. Yeah, incredible, incredible fucking save. And I'm saying this ironically, obviously. What an incredible save to say that the 14-year-old was asking for it when you sent them your fucking panties in the mail. Jesus Christ. Uh, it was so ridiculous. It doesn't really matter who, who initiated it. If she's 30 and he's 14. True. She should have said If he no asked always. for it, if yeah. you offered it. There's, a, there's this, ma yeah, there's this magical word you go called no, I will not fucking do that. And again, keep in mind, keep in mind, it would have been one thing. It would have been one thing. It would have been creepy and inappropriate if she made a joke about sending it. But she didn't just make a joke about sending it. She actually fucking sent this shit to a minor. A minor who she proceeded to build an incredibly inappropriate, unbalanced relationship and then asked for, for continual, intense free labor from. 
Again, as I have said this entire time, we are galaxies away from an oopsie doopsie here. This isn't just an oopsie, I made a stupid decision. This is a ye literal years of deliberate decisions to pull this extremely young, obviously extremely obsessed fan closer and closer for, your, for, for her own benefit. It's so far beyond an oopsie doopsie. And that's her whole song is la di da, da oopsie doopsie I did a oopsie. Oh, I can't wait to watch the ukulele song again at the end. Man, reviewing the ukulele after going through all of this is gonna be a trip. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah. I mean, you you still did that shit. Okay, so the reception was really great on this. Well, so I remember I was lightly following all this stuff as it happened. And I watched her video, and I was like, oh, okay, that all makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was really, it, people forgave her very quick. Um, the two top comments, this is a good apology video. She isn't crying over dramatically or blaming anyone else. She is taking responsibility for her mistakes, which is very mature. Good job, Colleen. In this video, she also um, addresses old clips that surface of her being very insensitive and racist and fatphobic. Um, so, so she addressed that also oh, in this video. Oh, she amazing, addressed incredible. everything, hence the title. Addressing everything. Right. And is there any more worth watching this no. or no? No. So she's basically just like, he wanted it. And that's what happened. Right. So. <sighs> okay, so why was that misleading in a sense? Or why, why was she... Ultimately, she still sent panties to a child. Right. So... But the whole concept of her exploiting a relationship with a minor, she really minimized. That hadn't come out. It right. was the closeness. Right. Yes. And everything that was really... Okay. Right. So the response is to Colleen. James Charles, of course, who is the moral arbiter of YouTube. Right, absolutely. Oh, if God. anybody knows how to treat minors with yes! respect... Is J is James Charles? You're so right. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That is some bullshit. Oh no! Listen, James. Oh. James wouldn't have fucked around with you, Adam. He wouldn't waste your time. He would have asked for a dick pic right out the gate. <laughs> Arm <laughs> armpit pic. <laughs> Can I see your armpit hair, Adam? Sister not me. Smashed. It's a joke. Don't send me pictures of armpit. Do not submit that. <laughs> okay, so James tweets, it's literally all lies. The boy begged Colleen for the panties for years. He ran, at this time, okay. they were like collabing and stuff. So they Hold were friends, on. Colleen. He James. begged for right? the panties like for years? <laughs> I know that it took hold her on, a second on. to actually send them. Um, Wait, I don't know if he's 14. Years. So according to James Charles, since he was 11, <laughs> he's been begging for her Please. panties? No way. Yeah, he ran her Twitter oh for God. one day, and she ghosted him either. In, and she never ghosted him either. In fact, he tried to bring Flynn into his argument, which we've seen. That's not really what he was doing. Who cares? He's He 14. was talking about, I'm a kid. Flynn is also a kid. Think about it. It doesn't matter what he said. Yeah. Sure, his story... Remember, guys, everyone who's, who's getting mad at this, this is James Charles we're talking about. Like, come on. Like, just remember who's being talked about here. Again... Yeah. He doesn't look the best, but he's looking for attention since Colleen won't give it to him anymore. And y'all are feeding it instead. Even if she did address it, people would say she's attacking a minor. Let yeah. her take care of her family and son during this pandemic and worry about something else, please. Oh, I'm God. tired of seeing my friend. That was the pandemic? The that was there in this the... was pandemic time. Holy yes. fuck. It's been going for a long um, time. Yes. Really quickly, um, the reception and the response to Colleen Ballinger's, uh, the, Colleen Ballinger stopped lying. This Cody, who was in our players earlier, who is Weenie a person group. in the fandom who was of age, um, posted a video basically debunking Adam's video. Okay, so that and would go- And people took that and believed that, ran with it, and also forgave Colleen with her apology. Those two videos went hand in hand. Okay, I yes. can see that being compelling. Right. But now, so I can only imagine Adam must have been on the receiving end of a lot of A lot hate. of hate. Especially with James Charles being like... So much hate. Uh, I love that James Charles is defending <laughs> her in this ridiculous. moment. I mean, it's a poetic, really. Really. Okay, so do we... Can I see her video? Um, no. She has now since left the internet. Okay. Um, I'll tell you why later. We'll get there. Okay, so I... 
No Got spoilers. It. it was basically, it was essentially, you'll see the, the construction of the video later. It's basically, she paints Adam as a, as like a manipulative person in, in the video. Ah, uh, yes, a, a deeply manipulative 14 year old manipulating the 10 million subscriber YouTuber who's been on every late show and has a Netflix special. Oh, ah, the dark and manipulative 14 year old. It's crazy. So, so I went to the next slide. Right. Okay, response to Colleen Ballinger. This is what she tweeted out. Nobody asked me to make a video. I was already doing one. I reached out to Colleen first, and then she replied two days later. She and Corey talked to me and showed me stuff to help me learn the truth. I then did my own research, and I found a lot more things. <laughs> so, like, okay, that... Okay, the fact that they were... She even admits they were... She was collaborating she with She was them. in her ear. Yeah, she was yeah. sending you stuff to Right, but this video. was the extent to, at, to which we got their communication in 2020. Wow. Cody Rance was 30 at the time. So oh. wait, that's the best friend. Oh, I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember uh, all the names okay. here. No, that's Kyle. Okay. Three Trey years later, answer. despite all of the hate that that situation brought Adam, he is thriving as a content creator. Um, he has now amassed over 156 K followers and he, um, did gain i think he gained an audience from the colleen ballinger stop lying possibly i think that's the first time i saw him and then i had watched his drama videos because yeah, of it sorry there's so many um, k names Corey, kyle cody i'm mixing some of these people up i apologize i didn't really say anything meaningful but i got their names mixed up i'll be honest there was a moment where i knew of adam and then i there i had a moment where i realized he was the colleen mm. stop lying kid and mm -hmm. i was like what the fuck <laughs> you I didn't no realize idea. they were the same yeah so that was his first video the colleen video yeah wow. um it was his first big video that got him on the map if it, it wasn't his first very interesting yes so june 2023 baby this we're is, here this, is this month we're here that's now we've arrived this is happening well, that's now it that's was in now. june God. this year oh yeah so we made it to the future cody comes out with a video basically showing that adam was right the entire time uh she shows this dm from colleen after adam posted the colleen stop lying video in 2020 she messaged i want to reach out to you privately and in confidence and let you know why i'm staying silent after he sent me that last message that he has now made public i responded to his messages immediately i did not ghost him adam begs to differ and then received a message from his mother through his dm asking to not speak of him i now realize i should have never been communicating with him in the first place however which is crazy because she was it wasn't just one 17 year old. It was group well, yeah. Chats then she, of she's babies. like, she went back and then told to her years. other 13 year old friends about it. Yes. Um, I now realize I should have never been communicating with him. However, he is lying about a lot and showing things out of context and will get major backlash. She's in her 30s and he is 17. We'll get major backlash if I were to expose that, but I'm trying my best to respect his family's wishes and protect him as a minor as best I can. I'm sad and disappointed about all of this and I'm just trying to keep it together. So that was like the first message that caused Cody to make her video. Pretty manipulative. Yes. And there are, so Cody's video, the one that exposed that has now been taken down, but thankfully Adam did a- Wait, um, why? The old one or the new one? The new one. Why did it get taken down? Because it came out that uh, Cody actually did it for the wrong reasons and they got exposed for the same thing because they were always of age and also in group chats with minors. Wait, 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 wait. So, so they, now the they Cody's person's being canceled? What's up? This girl's also now being canceled? Yeah, Cody is She's also being co canceled. canceled? Yeah. Yeah, co counsel But isn't she doing the right thing? What did she do? Well, she did bring the information to the surface. However, um, it seemed like, I guess they didn't really even care that Adam was getting any sort of comeuppance. It was just- So Cody Rance verified a bunch of the stuff that Adam said, but only to try and save face because they were also an adult in all of these chats with all of these kids. So it was like a CYA, like cover your ass type situation. She, uh, Cody was upset that Corey had blocked them on Twitter and that was what caused them to make the exposed video. So June she, 2023. she didn't do it for the right reason. Not for Adam. Yeah. Okay. But it just so happened that 
Adam's Truth came out. Why so, the fuck did Cody block her? That's a these why did people Corey? Are so cat, yeah, catty weirdo. Yeah, he's a he's a he's catty catty girl. Catty okay, queen. okay, so so I see what she's doing though. She's I this is manipulative. She yes. wants her to make the video, obviously, and yeah, these are super fans. It's easy to manipulate them if you're Colleen. I don't think it's I don't think it's an issue, right? For her. So, um, if you from YouTube chat, Michael Kenner says Cody Rat Rant sat on all this inf in information for like four years without revealing it. Click. Sorry, Cody Rant had all this info for, four, for like four um, years. Response. Wow. I want to go back to what I said about how young 13, 14 year olds are. Look at him. Well, no. Stunning. Oh yes, on the left. Yeah. Yes. It's crazy. Okay. What you're the the clip you're about to see is what made me cry last night. He's going through all his old photos through like the years. And the fact that she was like talking about wanting to like expose him for lying when he wasn't, when he was a kid, like it's just so crazy. So he's watching the he's uh, watching co canceled yeah. girls yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. Interesting social relationship with this woman to the point where I was being mean to a literal kid. And then I was like, my plan is to paint the video show Adam manipulates you into trusting him. Yo, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My plan is to paint the video to show Adam manipulated you. He's f he's a child. I know. Oh he's not. What the fuck? And they're both of age. Like this isn't a minor talking with Colleen conspiring. These are people of age conspiring to, to a Two literal adults trying to fuck over a child. To bring down a minor. Whoa. Who was... Would have been 17 at that age. At that time. 17. Pretty much correct, might I add. Miranda thing. Like, girl, you don't have that. Be quiet. No, he's a kid. I just, like, you have no idea how awful that period was. And to literally see messages that Colleen is, like, texting with someone being, like, we're going to frame this as him being manipulative. We're going to frame this as him being... Awful. I mean, the, the premise is abs is laughable, that yeah. this kid is manipulating a 30-year-old woman. A famous adult. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's... Uh, although, I got to say, I mean, she... How old was she at the time? 18? 30, 33. No, no, oh, no. you mean the, Cody? Yeah. Um, I didn't get an exact age. I know that they were over 18. I mean, she's a victim on all this, too, isn't she? Sure. Yeah, I mean, in terms of power dynamic and talking to someone you're a fan of parasocially, absolutely. You'll have to explain more why she got canceled. I, I need to understand that better because I don't get it. <sighs> I honestly... Okay, I think I understand. I think I understand what Olivia was saying. Cody had the information, helped, uh, worked alongside uh, 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 Colleen as an adult in order to try and shut down this kid who was not doing anything wrong, a kid who was just literally hurt and confused and had been manipulated by Colleen, and then also sort of pub, pub, made a, a previous video to take down this kid, and then only now is coming forward with sort of selfish intent to sort of save face. I think I understand why people would be mad about that. Maybe that's unfair though, I don't know. I don't know enough about that person. I don't know enough about this Cody person. Honestly, don't know if I know enough about- Beyond Safe Words says, initially Adam forgave Cody, and then a different YouTuber called out Cody for hiding all of her own bad behavior, and then Cody deleted all of their videos after melting down on a live stream. Oof. About that. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, we're gonna frame this doing all this. And the worst part about it is like, sorry, I'm trying my best to hold this together because I know people will be like, oh, you're. I just to give, just to back Adam up here, I've been on the receiving end when the whole internet hates. Peapot Fairy says Cody also stated on the video that they posted about this that they wrote fanfic in which people were sexually assaulted and used the names of actual kids in them. That is 
Um, okay. I can see why Cody would have deleted their entire account. Cody, the person, the person, okay, I know this is getting a little confusing, but this is th this person, the little, the little, the, the, hold on. The person who did that is Cody Rance. The person who recently, uh, who corroborated a lot of what Adam said after, years after working with, uh, you know, um, working with Colleen Ballinger to shut down this kid. And apparently by their own admission, they admitted to, to like writing fan fictions about real people who were in these group chats, which is just really fucked up. This is Adam, yes. This is Adam, the, the person who basically brought forward most of the, like the, 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 the hard evidence of this situation. Adam brought this stuff forward years ago and got dogpiled by the fandom and has now been sort of vindicated. It's me as, a, as an adult mm -hmm. and it is, I, once I described it to Hila, I was like, it feels, it genuinely feels like somebody died every week. Yeah. And so as a child, I can't imagine James Charles and all these fucking mega famous YouTubers talking shit about you and then all their fans saying mm. horrible Especially things Especially as you. like a major consumer of YouTube. And you then, know yeah. who all of yeah. these people are. You watch them. This is I mean, mentally these, these devastating. These are the formative years of his life. So yeah. like this, yeah, this is, this is heavy stuff. Um, people are saying that Cody was 30. Oh. Which is, yeah. That's crazy. Oh, she doesn't 30. look that old. She was 30 at the time? That's what okay, uh, right. Adam said uh, that Cody is 33 now. That is interesting. Oh, my yes. God. So it was um, correct to say it was two. Uh, it was a 30-year-old and a 33-year-old who were collaborating to take down a 17-year-old who had done nothing wrong and was just desperately trying to please a celebrity that they were starstruck with and had been, uh, I would say, arguably groomed by. To clarify further, according to Cody, and this is apparently, allegedly, by Cody's own admission, the person who was assaulted in the story used the real name of an adult from the fandom, but other characters in the story were names of actual teens from the fandom. Okay, that is deranged. And it isn't really immediately relevant to this story, but that is fucking deranged. That is fucking, there is so much deranged behavior in this situation. This is absolutely fucking deranged behavior. From adults, from adults who are, who are participating in the, the creation of a show for children. Man, this shit is fucked. Adam's about to show the photos of him with, as a kid. Faking it or whatever. I can respect that. But. Hold on, I just want to. To a literal kid. And then I was like, my plan is to paint the video show Adam. And, and again, Cody is a victim too, so this is not against Cody, but. This is before also the Maybe, like... Cody drama happened where Cody wasn't doing it for the right reasons. Okay, I don't know. You guys go easy on Cody, I think. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the whole, I don't know everything. I don't, I don't know. I don't know nothing about Cody. trusting them and had a master plan to take you down when you got mad about the Miranda thing. Like, girl, you don't have that. I just, like, whenever I read that and, like, I look at, like, these. This kid manipulated Miranda. Yeah. Dressed up like Miranda before like, a live oh, I'm show. So, I'm so excited for the Miranda show, and it's like me as like a kid, or like me at the meet and greet, or something like that, or like just like the countless times that like whatever, and it was like, oh my god, to know that like, to know that like one day like these were the things that she would be doing to me, or you know. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Was this tweet drama ever fleshed out more? What do you mean? Like, we... Shh. 
he, she approved the tweet. She did. But and was there, that ever talked about? No. Colleen hasn't talked about the fact that she approved those tweets. Mm. Interesting. Like I would have, I would have not believed you at all. I would not have believed you. It would not have been on my, I wouldn't have believed you. I wouldn't have believed you. So just to go back a bit here on this uh, DMs she showed. So it looks like Colleen, is there more? I guess I should keep watching, but it's- um, You don't have to keep watching. I'm. That's here it just says, enough info. She's saying, I'm gonna do all this stuff. Trust me, Colleen, let me save you here. The DMs will be your salvation, she says to her. And then Colleen says, I'm sorry, I need to do the right thing and respect his mother's wishes. So she's saying that I'm not going to send you any of the stuff you're asking for? Like what? No, she what? ended up sending. Oh, she did? Yeah. She, she wasn't going to wow. say anything because she didn't want to go against his, fault, his mother's wishes. No, she just didn't want to write down. Yeah, she didn't want to be the one to say Adam, so she wanted someone else. You can't else. say anything written down where she's like, yeah, go fucking slander this kid. Because mm -hmm. at this you, point, some DMs man. have already been shared. She mm -hmm. got a little taste of that, and so she's like, I can't write anything out anymore. Mm -hmm. And, um... But the fact she sent the screenshots and everything to him says it all. I mean, in terms of her involvement. Okay, interesting. Next? Yes. So, Cody's new video. In, in this video, Cody raises new allegations. Cody talks about the Weenies group chat. Um, Adam hadn't talked about the Weenies group chat before. Um, as we talked about earlier, 23 people were in it, including Colleen and Jessica and Cody, who were all of age. Um, and children. All of this started so from a tweet? That no, no. All of this started, all of this started because uh, Colleen Ballinger basically uh, targets super fan children to rope them in and gets them to contribute to her project for free generally. Um, and also engages with them in incredibly unhealthy ways, including dumping her emotional problems onto the shoulders of literal children, um, making extremely inappropriate comments towards them, um, and, uh, and, and basically manipulating their relate. That's how this all started. And it, the, the inciting incident was her, uh, was Colleen, AKA Miranda Sings, freaking out on a literal 17 year old um super fan who she gave access to her her twitter account and approved t uh, a tweet it's it's yeah and today this this was all reignited today because colleen ballinger released it released a ukulele apology video in which she didn't apologize for any of this stuff and instead tried to frame her detractors as deranged haters. Yeah, it's been a wild ride. Screenshot, you'll see it in the next one. If you go next. This, this, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. So let's talk sex with kids. Um, so here she asks, are you a virgin Whoa. to all these children? She also asks, what's your fave position? She says, are you a virgin? Right here. And then she says, what's your favorite position? Yeah. Seems like even the kids were a little bit like... Mm -hmm. You'll see in... Speechless. In one of the ones coming up, Adam basically is like, ew, stop it. Why Why would she ask that? So inappropriate. Why would you ask that question? A group of like 13 to 17 year olds... To children. Asking them yeah. shit about their sex life. What's Fuck. your favorite position? I mean, what? Yeah. Uh. There, are, there's more. Um, here she says, "Tell me all the thoughts you had when you uh, first got your periods, please and thank you." Example: I thought I shit myself because the blood was so dark in my underwear. Just like a weird. That's weird. Please tell me. That is a that is a the, weird well, thing, but I don't really think it's intimate. I don't think that's she wants to like 
she really wants to know. have a I, I intimate, think that I do intimate. think that's weird, but I don't think that's the same as asking kids about sex. I'm just going to be completely real. I don't think talking about that. I do think that's extremely weird to do with random kids in your fan base, but I, I don't think it's the same thing as like the last one. I think the last one is way worse. Like this is definitely inappropriate. It's definitely like not a thing you should do with your weird, with your extremely weird Kalini's Weenies kids fan group. Um, but it is not even close to the asking kids what their favorite sex positions are. Relationship with these people, mm -hmm. kids. Um, okay, so in this next one, Adam with the blue arrows here, it says he says my ass looks so good today, y'all. What's his? What's this profile? I think it's a photo of Miranda Cosgrove. It was probably just a funny meme okay, but profile that's... photo. Um, and then Colleen responds, picks Adam. Ew. And then Adam responds, Bruh. go away, bitch. Which is a pretty so good response. Adam said, my ass looks good, and she asked for pictures. Yes. That is... Which is weird. Again, <gasps> beyond inappropriate. Be, not, not, be, be so beyond inappropriate. This is asking a minor for pics of their fucking ass. This is so beyond inappropriate. And how old was he in during this one? I think like 14. Ah, uh, what the <laughs> fuck? So these screenshots now are her, um, if you go to the next one, Operation Bully My Ex with all of these children. Mm. She hears, she says, <laughs> He's lied to everyone and said I cheated. When would I cheat when I was working 24 hours a day? Uh, yeah, you were 24 hours a day with the dude yeah, you right. fucking ended up yeah. with, dummy. It's also just like all the responses of the kids being like, I've never hurt a soul, but I'll kick him in the balls. Like these are, yeah, these are Children. kids that Dumping you're talking to. Your... Um, she says, it... again, this, this is another one where it's just insanely inappropriate. Absolutely deranged to be dumping your mar marital issues into a group chat with a bunch of kids. God, this is so fucking weird. Makes no sense. He tries to get pity for being heartbroken over me when he constantly tries to drag me through the mud. You can't be heartbroken over someone you hate. So which is it? Yes, That's you such can. an immature, yeah, that's such an immature mindset, which it makes sense. Be. Yeah, but if you read the responses from the kids, he will regret it. Yeah. I'll never hurt a soul, but I will kick him in the balls. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I'll start swimming it let it out it feels good is it isn't this slander or harassment please tell me you know me and aren't lying because i'm just a fan and don't care about wait what is that one please tell know. me please tell me you do know me and aren't lying because i'm just a fan and you don't care about cuz yikes i don't understand that one i don't know her it was a child, so. <laughs> wow. Yep, more bullying her ex. She says he was always mad when I was happy. I thought that would end when we split. I got him a tour. I got him subscribers. I gave him a family. I paid for everything. I flew wherever he was. I gave him subscribers, man. <laughs> what more could he want from me? Literally. Is he a YouTuber? Is he... Yeah, he... he uh, he's less so now. After the divorce, he's really transitioned and... He, he moved back to Georgia, has a wife, um, but he used to vlog every day. He was very good friends with uh, Julian Solomita. Okay. Yeah. Not just trauma dumping to literal 14 year olds. That's also true and also very weird, but trauma dumping to literal 14 year olds that you have selected for a group chat because they have, they have large fan pages about you and then dumping about how you hate your ex and how uh, imp with the implication that they should go fucking tear up your ex on social media with their giant fan accounts of you and your ex's family god this is the most again i don't got i don't got anything on the messiness of these fucking freaks nothing i'm like the most like my my most my most complicated life problem is like so solved by comparison to these fucking freaks. Um, yeah, but like the, the, the broader context of her act complaining like in a serious like way yes. about her marriage yes. to children is pretty stunning.
Yeah. And these children who think that they are a, a part of the relationship. Right. Right. Because the they've been definitively given that impression. Because she's gone out of her way to cultivate that they have a unique and special relationship with a celebrity adult. one um tampon in mouth this is a video that colleen sent in the weenies group chat and then she encouraged the others to do it as well what the fuck Ooh, what yeah if you what? click the okay weenies and so this is a recent tweet i'm assuming yeah 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 so everything got... now has just surfaced so adam in a sense was he wasn't going all out on her back then. No. Because he never even mentioned any of this no. shit until recently. He was, I think he was really, really, really hurt that he thought that he was helping his idol and he didn't do anything wrong because she did approve it. And then he was just dropped. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Adam but and he was 17 wrong and really hurt. This. The fact that he didn't mention any of this stuff until now, I think is a, is a point in his favor. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Adam says the weenies group chat consisting of mostly 13 to 17 year olds I was a part of with Colleen all had an inside joke Colleen started to do with periods or some shit and she sent us this video and all of us had to go out and buy tampons and reenact it for the group chat it was so weird that is fucking insane that is a fucking insane thing that is every level of this keeps getting worse Colleen asking a group chat of, of kids to go buy tampons and put it in their mouth and film themselves with it in their mouth. All of this, all of this, especially with us knowing where it goes for so many of these kids, this is all grooming behavior. This is all fucking grooming behavior. And remember, Rolling Stone confirmed that she was giving out her personal information. Her husband was giving out her per uh, giving out his personal phone number to some of these kids. Holy fuck! Okay. Oh, we have the video. Oh my god, they have the receipts. What is, why is that even funny? Oh, it's longer. Just wait. Oh, there's more? Mm -hmm. It's not. Unironically, this is like kink shit. It's like weird, What's funny freaky. about that? <laughs> I no, swear I'm not. No, it's not funny. That's not, it's not funny shit. This is her weird, freaky kink. <laughs> That's an adult. It's not even like funny at no. all. No. And so they started sending their own videos of them doing that? Yeah, if you go to the next slide, Adam did kind of like a round table with two of the other, uh, two other members of the Weenies chat, and they talk about the tampon situation. The Weenies group chat, Ramsey, Becky, and Adam all talk. Here it is. Becky was the girl. Becky was the girl from the yoga video who also, who also revealed to us the porn bits that Miranda Sings would do uh, uh, would do with the kids with the skimpy clothing thing but you know what's so weird about yeah. the about the tampon thing and, yeah and she, like you guys gave me my period and I used my tampon yesterday because we all took the pictures like having the tampon in our mouth whatever she like she it. ended up messaging me she ended up messaging me on Snapchat and said, Hey, Adam, you weren't at the meet and greet. She was like, would you be able to go out and buy a tampon and take a picture so you're included in the picture that I think it was like Ella was making? Yeah, so we can Photoshop you in. <laughs> yeah, she asked me to do it. With the tampon in our mouths, because that was the inside joke. Yeah, yeah, she asked me to go out and buy tampons. And I was like 14 joke. or 15. She asked me to go out yeah. and buy tampons to put one in my mouth. Too. Yeah, and then we have the photo. Yeah, and and I obviously didn't want to go out and buy them So I remember I got a q-tip and wrapped toilet roll around it and that was me doing the photo because I didn't want to remember that Adam I remember Well now that you met Do they show the photo? 
Um, I don't think so. Wow, that's really weird. Yeah. That's super weird. <sighs> yeah. That's like, really, what the fuck? That's super weird, dude. That's yeah. some weird, like, I mean, fetish shit, maybe? I don't know. That some of the comments on that tweet, odd. yeah, were accusing it of being... I can't tell fishy. if it's like... It's not a joke. It could be. I can't tell. I just know it. I can't tell if it's a fetish thing or if she's like insanely infantile or I mean she's she's there's clearly something going on here that is mm -hmm. not normal. Right. But, yeah, she's building up like these weird reasons for them to do weird... No, making them do weird vaguely sexual uh uh behaviors that they have to send the picture to you. That is okay, guys. Grooming. The actual meaning of grooming is basically when a perpetrator targets a young person and and tries to get them used to doing certain things with the goal of making it easier to exploit them with the goal of making it safer safer for the perpetrator to exploit the victim that's what grooming actually is and yes making literal children take weird pictures uh, that you model for them how to put a tampon into their mouth and then move it around with their tongue and having kids do that for your personal private group chat as an in joke especially given the context of everything else we know absolutely seems like grooming behavior it's basically making it normal for these kids to expect to be taking pictures of themselves to send to her and her friends. It's making it normal for the normal for these kids to do to to uh, to re to take weird requests from her and send them to her without asking any questions. It's building up a social expectation of participating in very strange and very weird requests. And yes, it also does seem like a weird. Uh, fetish thing. It, as, as Heavy Gretel says, film a weird humiliating video of yourself and send it to me. That basically summarizes it. It's getting a bunch of kids to do a weird, to, to, to film a humiliating and weird and potentially even somewhat sexual video and send it to an adult, an adult with a huge position of power. Your things like, oh, we've yeah. got to take a picture. You've got to send this to be included. Right. Ah, there's something fucking sus in that. There's something. Oh yeah, the it's whole weird. thing is very sus. Right. But there's a there's an exertion of power to, to. Yeah. She's exerting her power to humiliate. Oh, them. Adam says he can send me the photo. Can I? I, mean, I don't want to show it if I'm not supposed to. If it's just. A isn't there of kids in there? Who doesn't? Eh, yeah. If nobody's okay. seen it, then I don't want to show it. Yeah. Thank you for offering, though. Um, there was also another group chat called Corey's Clit. This was Corey's group chat with kids. Here, Clit. Yes. With a K, though, so I don't know. I, Here, I don't that makes sense. it for kids. Right. <laughs> he sends actual porn Bro. to them. Okay. He said, no. what the fuck so, is on my timeline? No, he does not. Yes, Cheers, he my dude. So wait, are they, okay, so their relationship. Just... <laughs> you go ahead. Sorry. Okay, so their relationship, her and her friend, who lived together for no fucking good reason, and are both, at this point, like, flirting with kids? So this is the best friend, the live-in best friend, who has a group chat with minors called Corey's Clit, where he did send, where he allegedly did send porn. Lert, I mean... Adam, Adam just said he DM'd the picture to you, Ethan, on Twitter. Wait, can I even Maybe show you that? Maybe you wanna see? Hmm? Huh? I can't see what you're seeing, so I don't know. Can you preview the next screen? What? The next slide? Or just take it off my screen. What do you mean? What is this? What? What is in this photo? It's covered. No, but what is this? What is what it of? You... What do you mean? What is this? What is this photo of? Adam says that it was sex, but it's covered. It's not all covered. Oh. Okay, let's skip it. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, I see, I see some shit going on there. I think that, there. that's just legs. Okay. But 
Okay, so this is if it's borderline, just just skip it. Well, just cut. Well, I want to I want to show. I, I can make an edit of it real quick. I can read it. I can read it. It's. I think that it's covered, but to be safe, no. Um, he sent to the children, what the fuck is on my timeline? The first message from a child is, I'm almost 18. Someone says, fuck off. Someone says, what the fuck? And those are all kids. Hold on, hold on. I want to show it, but we just got to edit it out more just to be safe. Okay. I see the photo. Adam sent me the photo. He blurred out all the kids' face. That's good. It's really, really, really fucking weird. Um, Adam, has has this photo never been shown? Because this is pretty fucking insane. This is really insane. Are we That's doing really anything? That's really insane. Agent Mad Hat says, are we doing anything fun after this drama? This drama has ended up taking forever, so I don't know. I don't know what we're what we're gonna do after this. I don't even know if I'll have energy. I might have to just stream later in the week with everything else that we planned. We'll find out. I don't want to be the first person to show this, though. Yeah, it's her. It's her with, like, a bunch of kids, and they all have tampons in their mouth. Can you go backwards, Ethan, and then go back to this slide and see if it's covered now? I just put something over it. No. Let me refresh it. Yeah, if you refresh it, Mike. This slide 34. Okay, yeah, good job. Thank you. Kiwi TP says, I do appreciate you covering this thoroughly. Hey, if I'm going to cover drama, especially on a serious topic, even if it starts with a ukulele apology video, I'm going to do what I do. You guys know that's how I do these things. When I do drama mamas, I try to make sure we get all the information on hand and that we react to it holistically, that we're not just flying off the handle. And part of the reason for that is that I think it's really important that people act on the internet based off of being informed that they don't just fly off the handle and also i think that makes i think that does a service overall if we build this as a habit that people engage in i think it does a service to people who come forward with allegations there is way too much frivolous crap thrown around on the internet and i think it's important that people take their time and look into it even if it starts with a ukulele video and also I also think this is a really important topic, and we are going to talk about that more at the end. Um, but let's get through this. So, there was... Do we know what the picture was of? Or I think the video? it was legs. And no, but, Adam says that it, there was a sexual act in the video that he sent. Okay. So, he has a... Why does he have a separate group chat with the kids? Right. That's super weird. Corey's yep. clit. Yep. Where he sends them pictures of porn and he said or videos of porn he mm -hmm. says what the fuck is on my timeline right and now it's on these kids' personal group chat and eyes uh, yeah that's 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 illegal actually that's a crime. that's definitely yeah. illegal yeah yeah that's just it's a crime really... that guy should be in you <laughs> that i mean yeah that guy just committed a crime right you definitely can't send porn to kids as a grown-ass adult um, the next wait, one. Wait, somebody says, oh, the, wait, okay, hold on. People have seen. Oh, the photo? The photo. So can I show it? I mean, Adam has said, uh. They He says he's shown it, because I do think it's interesting. Yeah. As long as I can show it. And he it. blurred the faces. Yeah, okay, then I'll show it. Or, yeah, maybe I won't show it. It's if you want to see necessary. It. This yeah. is already it's a bad idea. It's yeah. okay, just to be safe. Just go look at on Adam's. I mean, and Adam me uh, is specifying that he was not one of the members of Corey's clit. He was not one of the chosen. Uh, he was not one of the kids talking about porn. Dude, what the? And exchanging porn. Fuck. Okay, moving on. Um, this is a, a voice memo that Corey sent in a group chat with oh minors. God. Oh God. Okay. This was from Corey's clit? I don't know if it was from Corey's clit. I know that it was from Corey. Wow. Hey everyone, it's Corey. I just wanted to record a voice memo because I have like a lot to say. Um, but first of all, I just want to say that like, I love all of you. Like you all honestly mean so much to me. Oh my God. Um, oh my you God. have no idea. I, know that it sounds weird because i'm a full-grown adult and some of you are oh, younger I, the, the fact he acknowledges this 
no, in the dude. call yeah. is stunning. Bro. This is like a Trump call where he goes, yes, it's uh, I know that this is illegal <laughs> and I can't show people the documents because I he's like, here's the crime I'm committing. It was I a perfect call right and they, they indicted, indicted me. me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Corey should go to jail, actually. He might be a sex criminal. They were. Yeah, I don't know. They were talking about porn together. And know that it sounds weird because I'm a full grown adult and some of you are younger. <laughs> that is insane. That idiot, you're right. That is, that is a words. Trump move yeah. right there. That's straight up just I'm a full grown adult crime. and this is really inappropriate. I should not <laughs> be doing crime. this, but I love all of these children so much. Yeah. That's Jesus. when you Smart press guy. end, delete, turn your phone off, maybe. <laughs> Listen, uh, <laughs> all my favorite kids. <laughs> I realize so I'm an psycho. adult and it's super inappropriate and potentially illegal for me to send you uh, porn, but I love you guys so much. I'm going to send you porn. You guys are 13. I'm in my, I'm 30. Here's porn. And I know what I'm doing. I know. I, I, I'm doing this I, in right Corey, mind. I'm not on any drugs. Yeah. I'm totally sober right now. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. This whole situation has spiraled. What what can of worms did I open at the beginning of this stream? You guys remember what we were planning on doing? We were going to talk about... Honestly, though, I'm going to be completely honest. The other topics... There's one topic that we were going to talk about that was important, but I actually think that... I actually unironically think that raising awareness about this is pretty fucking important. I can honestly think of all of you like as my best friends. Like I don't have friends, oh, and God. I'm a loner and I'm a loser. Like my only friend is Colleen, oh, my God. and uh, like uh. I, it's so comforting to like go online and talk to you guys and and feel like loved and cared about because I love and care about all of you, um, Oof. and I trust you and like I like. With all my friends, I vent to you, and when I'm angry and I feel better and I feel comforted by you all, and I hope that I can do the same for you. But like this whole thing with Krista is has just escalated into something really bad. That he was just talking oh about God. drama at the time. That was when Adam posted his first video in 2020. So what's interesting Notice about that both Colleen and Corey do this thing where it's like, I trust you so much, I wouldn't tell anybody else about this. I only tell you all about this. Notice them notice them both doing that same behavior. That's another thing. Oh yeah, this is between us. It's our little secret. No joke. You're special. It's our little secret. About this is that he spends the first 95% of this saying how important Literally they are to him. Grooming. They're his only friends in the world, blah, 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 blah. Like, uh, I guess it's like love bombing, I guess maybe yeah. you would call it. Sure. And then at the end, he's like, but I need you guys to do something for me. Mm. Now, who's he talking about, Kristen? I don't know who that is. I think that it's another person from the fandom that was in some drama at the time. It was let me, years ago. Let me hear that that was taken. Krista is has Krista. just escalated into something really bad. Oh, oh we don't even know what he's talking no, about. No, it, it cuts off there. Just another one of their... He's like, this girl Krista I've been sending porn to. She's 11. Jesus fucking Really Christ. bad, you guys. <laughs> Phoenix Wildfire says, Who the fuck talks to kids like this? The last kid I talked to is listening to a friend's kid info dump about their drawing tablet. No one talk... No healthy adult talks to kids like this. No, they just don't. Especially not in, like, a private group chat. Like, I will say things like, Man, I really fucking love my community. I really fucking love you guys. Thanks for taking care of me. Uh, and supporting the show. I'll say shit like that from my show very clearly talking about my audience as a whole. And I even try to avoid doing that. But this isn't that. This is a voice memo sent to a private group chat that's called Corey's Clit that's full of kids. Like, the again, the fucking, 
the 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 fucking galaxy it's not even in the same galaxy as like believable oopsies i didn't mean to do a parasocial but i did by accident no man this is like eight tiers deeper it's beyond it's beyond the pale Vermin says it'd be one thing still weird but one thing if it was like a group a group chat of over a hundred kids just spamming messages and memes but it's like eight to twenty hand-picked children it's fucking insane expa ex insane there's no explaining this past grooming yeah and also again all of this is in the context that they're directly benefiting from these kids they're using these kids to cultivate their social media presence and to grow their brand directly A lot more has come out even since this H3 video. Is that true? All right. <laughs> I was of right mind when I did it all. Yo. Right. So now we're going to get into some of the individual <laughs> stories of some of the other members of the How old is this H3 video? This is a week old. This was bef this video came out before the ukulele apology. Nini's chats cuz they have also come forward and told their own personal Stories. This is like the worst coming of age movie of all time. Crazy. The weenies, <laughs> like the goonies. The weenies. But they're all just groomed and the abused weenies. by yeah. a YouTuber. The weenies never say die. <laughs> so this is Johnny. Johnny um was a diehard fan from the beginning from her, when she lived in New York. And um he continued on in the fandom and went on to work on tour with her and he tells his story about what it was like to work for her. And he looks like he's grown up now. So he was of age modern. when he was on tour. Okay. Remember when Corey made my life a living hell the entire summer of bus tour 2018 and no one did anything about it? How many points for that? Tell me more. This guy, Corey, seems like a real uh, right? winner. Yeah. There's something really odd when you consider in totality both of their behaviors and his. Corey's is even put potentially worse. Although he's doing it in service to her. Uh know. They're living together. It continues to come back to me as something really weird. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to read these? Uh, I can, you, yeah. yeah. Like when he aggressively backed me into a corner in Omaha and said, look at how many followers you have versus me. I'm your superior. I was 22. Dude was like 30 plus nah. at the time. One morning, he barged into our hotel room and screamed at me until I cried. He told me the night before he wanted to sleep on the bus. The morning after, he tried to make it seem like I took the hotel key without him knowing and locked him out. Straight up traumatic, dude. Once he started seeing that, I was good at my job. That's when it all went downhill. He didn't like when I got praise or recognition. It would only put more of a target on me and make the bullying dude, worse. Oh He's literally God. the reason I was not asked back. Um, there's what a more. weirdo. Morning after you tried to make it seem like I took the hotel key without him knowing and locked him out. Okay. As much as it pains me to say, Colleen played her part in all of this too. She would pull me aside and counsel me during all of it, telling me she was proud of me for standing up for myself, etc. Fuck out of here. When I finally stood up to Corey, he called for an emergency meeting because... He wanted me out. I was mm -hmm. gaslit into apologizing so I could keep my job and reputation. They all just sat there and watched him torture me. They knew it was happening. Wow. Um, the next screenshot that's uh, after tour, he sent in the group chat, gonna miss you all. Safe travels, everyone. And two minutes later, Cordesudo leaves the group chat. What the hell? <laughs> right? That guy, what is the deal? Right, and then the next slide is... Um, the weenies have like a little meme. They love this video of Corey looking all huffy, walking with his suitcase. That you mean the modern day uh, yeah. uh, weenies? Right, the modern day weenies today. Okay, so this one's just funny. I see. This guy really is odd. He's getting like his whole purpose and self worth from 
being Colleen's sidekick that sends porn to kids and manip blackmail or not blackmail but manipulates kids into doing their dirty work. Yeah. Oh man, he is one weird dude. Yeah. So um, that's Johnny's story. This is Becky's story. She has a TikTok that she posted where she tells it. Oh wait, this one is. I made just a little bit over thirty-five hundred oh. for this entire tour. I was taxed about fifteen hundred of it at the end of the year. I worked this entire tour. My five-day trial run shows. The Netflix special. I performed in the show on top of my duties, twelve plus hours a day. No shower, Bro. no bed. Worth it. That's insane. How long was the man. tour? Yeah, how long Talk was the about tour? Exploitation. You can see the dates, uh, but it's covered. Yeah, this is just exploitation of a of an adult. Although, if I remember correctly, in the um, in the original rolling stone article they mentioned that he was a fan before before he he like worked as an adult on the tour that he was a fan when he was younger if i'm i might be misremembering please correct me if i'm misremembering that Seven to august it was a summer tour did i see a tweet of him saying that they didn't want to pay they paid him hourly but they didn't pay him when he wasn't working I saw him tweet something like that too. Um, I can do research can on that. It. See if I can find it. He was like, sh they specifically told me that I wasn't going to get paid unless I was on the stage working, which is crazy because he's traveling with them. Yeah. Yeah, I, I recall seeing that on Twitter. Well, you can yes. see here it's from. Yeah, here it is. Here's here it is from the original article, Johnny. He tells Rolling Stone that in 2012, when he was just 15, he and others fans would spend hours video chatting Ballinger first on Skype and then in another pla public chat room called Tiny Chat. Silvestri says that Ballinger and DeSoto cultivated personal relationships with the fans, talking to them about their emotions, feelings and experiences. They treat us like they were our older siblings, like they cared about us. It was a weird dynamic, but then I felt like but it felt like a very tight knit family. So then later he then was brought on paid almost nothing to work really hard and verbally abused by one of the Ballingers or not by one of the Ballingers by uh, Corey DeSoto who lives with the rest of them Johnny reacted to the ukulele video wow there is so much stuff coming out on this oh my god we gotta finish this or else we're never gonna get this done to... looks like it was just over one month Based on, I don't know how deep this goes. This picture. So, yeah, I mean, live touring is a twenty-four hour job, so the pay should be yeah, uh, thirty-five hundred dollars for a month of that. Is thirty-five, pretty... yeah, thirty-five hundred dollars to work on a Netflix special to to help with a live tour to be lugging shit around and working uh, as a as a stagehand on a live sh store. That's slavery. That's insane. That's insane. Bad. I would say. I would say. Yeah, that's you should the, right. You should be getting paid twenty four hours a day. I do not see that tweet, but I will keep looking for it. Okay, good. I don't know what I saw. Maybe, maybe AB, you can search for it. Well, all right. Moving on. Becky's story. Another weenie. This is the one you were talking to me about. This is a crazy story. This okay. is the yoga one that we watched. Oh, this girl. Yeah. And she was she a weenie too? I don't think she was a weenie, oh, okay. but she was a prominent okay. figure in, in the fandom. Okay, I see, I see. And now is Hi, okay, helping to pioneer Becky. this. I'm a girl in this video, and this video has one over a million views, and that is a lot of people to be seeing this story without hearing it from me, so I want to explain this. Yeah, we can we can we can watch this part at 1.5 speed because we've already watched this video. So we're gonna we're gonna speed through this one. So I was a fan of Clean and all the Ballinger family for a very very long time, and I think in this video I was about 16. If you've never been to a Miranda show, Clean frequently has segments where she calls people up on stage. One of those segments was the porn bit, which I'm not really gonna be explaining in this video, but that's why I was kind of trying to dress skimpy so that do I. Do you wouldn't... know what the porn bit is? Do you know I do know what the porn bit is. So Miranda um thinks that everything. Oh wait, okay. Actually, I do. I don't want to go fast for this because I want to hear them explain it because previously. Because we already watched the porn bit, so I want to hear a an actual fan, an actual former fan of 
Miranda Sings explain it. Because we watched, we watched a clip of the porn bit. Thing is sinful. Uh, okay. She's very religious. And, and yes, as Somniostatic points out, she says that she was explicitly trying to dress skimpy so that she would get picked for the porn bit. That's what I was talking about. I was. That's why I was saying that whole thing seems sus. You've created a bit for your show that incentivizes children to dress as skimpy as possible so that you'll bring them up on the show. Not only is it sus for for Miranda Sings, the artist, but also it creates an incredibly fucking weird and predatory environment at the shows, which are designed for children, which are targeting and marketed to children and um, she had this bit where she would bring someone on stage and point at them and be like, you are porn. Like, you're dressed inappropriate if they were wearing, like, a dress or, like, shorts. So she would, she definitely would look in the crowd for who she could call porn. Okay. And so, so it would subliminally make kids be like, oh, maybe I'll wear shorts. So it was like some tongue-in-cheek slut-shaming. Sure. Bit. Yes. Yes. Slut-shaming, quote-unquote. I mean, not really. Or... Whatever. Not my words, her words. You got it, you got it. Would be called up on stage and basically get degraded by Miranda. But I did not get called up for that. I got called up for the yoga challenge. Now, as soon as I stood up from the audience, I saw Colleen's eyes widen because she realized I was not wearing pants. But for some reason, that didn't stop her from continuing. In fact, no adult at any okay, point so stepped in in this situation. Much, but so she did explain it exactly like what we saw. So I'm going to go back to f fast speed because we watched through this part already. So I don't want to repeat too much. We get to point in the yoga challenge where I am laying down and Colleen is spreading my legs basically as far as she can. She spreads them so far that you can see the spandex I was wearing under my romper, which thank God I was wearing. Now, the original video posted by Xander, Xandar, I'm sorry if I pronounced her name wrong. Remember that we have the original video of the yoga challenge bit that I sent you earlier. Yeah, I know. Uh, somewhere here, yes. Yeah, we saw we saw the screenshots of it. I mean, if we want to see what the original video looks like, this was posted by It's Becky. I'm just going to add some context here. This is what actually happened. This is what she's referring to right here. This is the fart joke. Surely the fart is the main part of this. This is this is this is posted by Becky, the person who's talking in this video. This is a child. She encouraged her fans to wear revealing clothing so we would get called on stage. Then she exploited us and our bodies for her own gain. So yes, I'm okay with calling her a predator. That's what we were watching here. Maybe I should just play it at normal speed. You know what? Fine. It'll be a repetition from earlier, but whatever. It's only a screenshot, but there is a whole video of this. But that screenshot is the most important because that is the moment I will never forget where I was laying under Colleen and she was smirking down at me while thousands of people were laughing and I was terrified that my body wasn't covered enough up enough by the spandex or the romper. I basically felt naked, so it felt incredibly sexually violating. I was younger and my body was still developing and I was still becoming comfortable with myself so for her to use my body as entertainment on stage really set um, my confidence back quite a lot. And not to mention after all this, after the show, I had to walk back to my car where there was many a men staring at me in a very predatorial way that they were not looking at me before because of how exposed I had been on stage. So I that was the other thing we were talking about before, that it creates an environment of predatory of other predators to go to the shows because they know they're going to be uh, introduced to potential targets. I really did not feel safe leaving the venue. And I'm not saying and this yes, this this is indeed the fart joke that she referenced in her non apology. Remember how I said listening to the ukulele video is going to be a real trip when we go back through this? A sexual assault, although people are debating that in that comment section. But as someone who has been sexually assaulted, this situation gave me that same feeling where it feels like you need to purge and like clean out your insides. You know, just that nasty, gross feeling. There's a couple comments on Xander's video oh, being yes. like, oh, she signed up for that. Why is this such a big deal? Blah, blah, blah. Colleen exploited my minor body for entertainment and money and did not protect my safety at this show. 
As an outsider looking into this situation, it may seem like this wasn't a big deal, but this was really pretty scary for my teenage self, and especially as someone who loved and looked up to Colleen. And I could never say anything because everybody loved her. But this is who she really is. She uses kids for her own gain. I was a minor, and again, she did not protect me. So if you're watching this and you're thinking about taking your kids to a Miranda show, I would advise you to think twice because you may come back with years of trauma, and I don't wish that on anyone. This is definitely, okay, I mean, that's horrible. Yep. The, 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 the continued theme is her. Yeah. She just, she doesn't understand. She doesn't appreciate that she's dealing with children. I and don't The way know. she uses them and interacts with them. Johnny was backstage and he tweeted out that um, everybody was very mad at her. Even her oh, husband. For that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I was wondering that. Yeah. Because as she was telling that story, I was like, there had to be like a An stage manager or a producer or a touring manager who was like, dude, this is going to come back. Yeah. This Appar is a apparently it caused contention. Okay. That is interesting to know. That's crazy. Right. Poor girl. I know. That's crazy. I know. I promise you guys on our live show on Friday, I will not be making you <laughs> yeah. spread eagle. Serve. Promise. We'll um, do it. Well, well, I can't promise you won't be traumatized, though, because once again, we are planning to show everybody the prolapse. Right. But I will warn you before uh, time, and there's no minors in the audience either. Thank you, 18 only plus. Thank you. If you're a minor, do not come. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed. Do not come. 18 plus. You're not allowed. Do not come. <laughs> Listen to Kamala. Is this another video? Becky later posted the video. Um, yeah. Do not oh, come. the whole video. Becky did uh, <laughs> end up posting the video. If you want to see it, it is on her account. I don't know if we should watch it. I mean, if she posted it. And again, let's just remember oh, the context in all of this. This isn't just a... This isn't just a a comedy show that has raunchy jokes that there were some kids in the audience that heard raunchy jokes this is a a show targeted at kids directly targeted at kids where kids are brought up on stage as a regular part of the show and then are also brought in afterwards to all kinds of fan meetups and fan events and potentially selected for group chats this is so much more than <laughs> Oh God, it's not even in a galaxy of okay. Yeah, she posted it publicly. I mean, you get the idea in the picture though. Yeah. I mean, you get it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Fuck it. Um, this is Ella's story. So Johnny posted his tweets. Okay, Colleen, you wanna play? Let's play, look what I found. It's you bashing one of your biggest fans at the time this was sent. We used to make fun of them for editing freak fake freckles on their face, remember? Then you made fun of them for being trans and gender fluid. In those, it basically just says, Colleen sent a photo of this fan and said, her uh, her freckles are gone. And then also said, and she's using she, her again. And so that was so, those, those so were those texts. she's tests. gossiping with about other kids. weenie yeah. members about, about kids. other kids. Mm -hmm. That, that, okay. That's and, fucking nuts. Right, and Ella Insane was very behavior. sick through um, their uh, love of Colleen, and Colleen knew that. And um, that comes back into play in the next slide. Dude, but that's like evil. Yeah, Ella you're, posted. You're fucking shitting on your fans, your super fans, yeah. gossiping with other kids? Yeah. What are you doing? That is so fucking vile. Why? So Holy she shit. yeah was tweeting a bunch. She she never liked me. This is so sad. I can't believe it. I honestly don't know what to say. What the fuck? Why did she pretend to like me? I want to die. Colleen is a fucking asshole. I'm literally shaking. So th is this recent? She yes. just found out yes. about this. Yes, this was like last week. And she, I'm assuming. I know he blurred it, but she found out that she was talking about her for sure. Yes. Yes. Um. And then Johnny sent Ella a message because in the text they were like. Wait, you didn't tell Ella beforehand that you were posting that? Um, so then Ella posted, Colleen said this about me, and it's a screenshot of a message Johnny sent to they, Ella. They, I'm still stuck on this. I mean, it's so obscenely mean. It gets worse. This alone is enough to be like, nah, you're done. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I, I'm with Ethan on that. Like, utilizing your your 
gigantic platform and a group chat of, of parasocially at attached kids that you're actively roping into all of your things and you're leaning on and dumping emotionally to and having them send all kinds of weird pictures having all of those kids and your giant platform and using it to like bully kids that you don't like in the group insane unhinged just horrible life ruining behavior psychologically damaging to these children off the rails off the fucking rails this is i agree with ethan this is a, this this would be bad enough in and of itself um so Johnny says to Ella, I just genuinely want you to know this is 100% hand on my heart. <laughs> Things she said to my face on bus tour. I remember it clear as day. We were sitting in front of the hotel waiting for an Uber. She told me she believed you were faking your illness to get closer <sighs> to her. I know. And she was in the works of writing a movie about a girl who fakes illness to get close to celebrities and then gets exposed as the villain. She was writing a what defamatory screenplay fuck? about you with her brother, Chris. This feels so wrong telling you I genuinely do not want to hurt you with this information. She's diabolical. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Ella. Um, Chris, her brother, denies this. However, one of the of characters in Haters Back Off, her mother, has fibromyalgia, but it comes out that she is faking it for attention. So there's definitely that exists. Why is she so mean? Yeah. And then this is the last, this is really, really bad. Oh boy, here we go. This is Oliver's story. Another weenie? Or yes. just a random fan? And, um... He would message with Trent Ballinger, who is one of the Ballinger brothers. Um, he is hard of hearing. He has a cochlear implant. Um, Coley never really showed him on her channel. She said that he liked to stay private. Um, and then a lot of people were like, why are you keeping him hidden, blah, blah, blah. And after enough comments were made, she then did like a coming or coming out, talking about my, my brother's hard of hearing. And then, which obviously got him more attention from children, I imagine. Um, and these are messages that he would send to a 13-year-old. Oh, no. I know. No. I know. No. I know. I'm not ready to click I next. know. It is, the. it's so much. 13. And it's so bad. Her whole family's fucked up. <sighs> yeah. Okay, well, I haven't seen it yet, so maybe yeah. it's fine. Maybe it's not that bad. Oh, it's bad. It's horrible, actually. There's Trent in the background who we're talking about. Yes, that's Well, Trent. let's take, let's, let's review. He looks so wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> let's review. These two started a family channel. So they're Oh, quoting. no. Rachel in the middle is uh, Colleen's sister. She is also a YouTuber, but she's not married to Chris. Oh, I thought this, okay. Jessica is Chris's wife. Right, she's not, not in this. I'm not even going to try to untangle it. Is anyone <laughs> in her family a good guy? A good, uh, I don't know. Hands? I don't know. Maybe a cousin? Yeah, maybe a cousin. Second cousin? Maybe. Second cousin. We have to go back pretty far. <laughs> um, yeah. So Trent says, just don't share our conversation with anyone. Anything we talk oh, about stays start. between you and I. That's literally. Yeah. Love ya. The 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 fucking pedophile opener. <laughs> it gets worse. It literally like. It okay, that said though. That said though. I, these are just sort of contextless screenshots. I don't know if we have any proof that these are, hold on. What's the, what's this for? I want to see if we can find the originals here. Mix Oliver L. Hold on. This one wasn't mentioned in the Rolling Stone, so we don't know if this has been verified. Not that H3H3 H3 is bad or anything like that, but I think we should be careful. I want to see if we can find this. This is this person's account. I want to see if we can find the originals and see what type of what type of, like... Uh, give me a second here. I want to see if we can find the originals. Let me see what I can find.
Okay, hold on a second. So a lot of Wait a second. All right, give me a second. Did they, they did mention Oliver in the article? I'm sorry, did I miss it? Maybe I'm misremembering, sorry, this has been. Oh, they did mention Oliver. Oh, sorry, they, oh, they did. Okay, sorry, I was confused. They only did the first, okay, I, I, I then maybe they did. I guess they did. Let's take a look though, here. People have been asking for proof and while obviously I'm not gonna go back and find every single message um, and show you because that would be a lot of messages. Um, here's proof that we messaged and this was one of the more uh, alarming messages, I guess. Um, yeah, and then you can, I can click here and it's him right here. Implanted gamer. Yeah. Sorry, not here, hold on. Wow. Well, okay, I guess that solves it then. Is this the person? I don't know, who, like, how we would verify that this account belongs. Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. Here's a here's a photo from September 2021. Trent Trent's left cochlear implant. I just hooked up my cochlear implants to the Nintendo Switch. It's nice to so I oh I I I guess that'll do it. Uh, Trent with the cochlear implant and the big account. Well, not huge, but. I think that would be pretty, that would be a lot of, uh, that would be a lot of, uh, coincidences. Oh, wow, this is a whole thread of all of these, plus the video proof, plus the account. Yep, okay, all right. I wanted to make sure, like I said, I wanted to make sure we were doing our due diligence. I don't like flying off the handle on this. As far as we can tell, this does actually it seem to be the correct trend. All right, here we go. Lee. Yeah. Love ya. <laughs> it gets oh, worse. Also, I was, I was slightly, I, I misremembered. Oliver is mentioned right here in the video. I misremembered the name of this of this particular segment, but yes. Oliver, a former fan from Pennsylvania, says Colleen's motto of spreading happiness drew her, him into her fandom. Oliver, who was trans, identified as a girl at the time, but after joining the, in early 2018, or in early 2018, and following Ballinger and her family on the site, a follow back from Ballinger's brother, Trent, quickly turned into a constant communication. Messages reviewed by Rolling Stone show over a year of communication with Trent complimenting Oliver's looks, asking him for photos, and telling him to text anytime. That's, yep, all right, all right, okay. It literally, like, it just gets worse. Okay, I'm um, so uncomfortable just yeah. from that first yeah. line. That's like from the groomer's handbook. <laughs> Nothing ever good yep. follows that sentence, ever. Yep. The next one, Trent says, I'm told not to talk to people under 18. What is with them just saying I know. their what, Yeah, what's up with that? I do so just to spread positivity, so yeah. Oliver says, oh, I don't see anything wrong with talking to people that are under 18 who said that. You really do spread positivity, I love it. And Trent says, family. Oh my So family God. apparently, I guess, family. knows that he talks to people. Yeah, this has happened, they know about it. Right. Jesus. They said, please stop talking to children. Right. Although, uh, frankly, she should take her own advice. Right. I mean, if she didn't talk to kids, there'd be no story. That this would all never Sorry, have happened. Sorry, yeah, but no, this got pretty real. A good rule. Yeah. For influencers to follow. And R. Kelly, incidentally, too.
Although that wasn't really what he got. I should definitely put up a. I, I should definitely put up a CW. Um, so next one. You don't look by, so I'm like head tilt. Oliver says, oh, I don't, but yeah, I think I am. Trent says, why do you think you are? You don't look by? Yeah, what the fuck is that all <laughs> what about? What do mean? I didn't know that they had <laughs> <a look. laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Um, I don't Doesn't know. Doesn't have the, uh, the bisexual lighting just <laughs> glowing Literally. on his face at all times. You don't have that special hair. Yeah. The baby bangs. I don't know. I just think I'm straight, I guess. I don't I just don't think I'm straight, I guess. And then Trent says, just be honest with yourself. You're young. You don't have to label I yourself just yet. Child abuse Oliver, generally. you're very right. Yeah, but I don't want to completely label myself. I guess the closest thing I am is being bi. Trent asks why. Trent is curious why. I don't know. Guess... Why would I think I'm straight? At what point? I don't know, but I'm questioning. And then Trent says, how old are you? And Oliver says 13. And Trent says, yeah, I wouldn't question it yet. Peapod, which is what he called Oliver. Why did he call? I don't oh know. It's just God. that's he had a what that, he that's continues like, to call her. Yeah, pet name is uh, like another them. pretty uh, standard grooming thing, is it not? My little Peapod? Yeah, I don't know, bro. Yeah, so I mean, this is fucking insane. <sighs> This is like straight up insane. It's really bad. Insane. This is this is this is, this is just fucked. This is just prediction. 13. Oh, um, Trent smoke. says a, the the mildly famous relative of a famous YouTuber who is involved in their works and a part of their projects, reaching out to young fans, repeatedly messaging them at great extent. Yeah, I know. All I've been saying is that this is deranged. This whole situation is just a giant mess of people, of them all protecting one another, looking the other way, helping each other get more access to kids. Night, don't let the sexuality 13. bite. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to grow up doing what you love and probably fade away from me. Holy That's shit. a really incriminating text. Jesus. Holy Whoa. fuck, dude. Oh my God. I know. Guilt tripping kind of gross. He's definitely okay. I mean, it speaks for itself. Yeah. Um. P.S. He's saying you should come to Colleen's show in Orange County. So let's hang out, basically. Oh my God! I wish I could. My mom said I can't go to California. Why not? <laughs> um. When I'm an adult, I really want to fly out to California by myself. How long do you have to go? Trent asks. The earliest I could go would be summer 2023. I'll be 18. That's now. This person just turned 18. 18. Jesus. That, yeah. That... They're like, I won't be interested in you then. Yeah, what is that emoji? <laughs> hmm, that doesn't work for me. Yeah, right? Do you have any friends that might be down? The next, the next one is crazy. How old will you be? Oliver says, in November. Trent says, yep. Almost 14 at that point. Trent says four more years to He's go. He's doing the 18-year-old countdown clock in real time on him. Yeah. Holy fuck, dude. Yeah, it's really not good. E mm -hmm. Especially interesting considering, again, there's the implication that he's done this and they know about it. And they still taking his ass on tour and shit. Right. I don't know if they take him on tour, um, well, but she, she did do a show. video, yeah. a, a, a major video with him. There's some issue. I mean, yeah, that family. I don't know what it is. Family. Is, you, is there anything known about her parents? About like her um, mom? I don't know. I know that her dad was exposed last week for having a YouTube playlist with an inflation fetish. <laughs> I saw that. Which yeah. is, is that in this? <laughs> no, it's not. Um, it was running a, a little bit long, so I took it out, but. Okay, he that, does. Not too that part, that part's just funny, okay? Don't don't hate on the inflation fetishists just because some random person involved with these people accidentally boomered out and showed their fetish. That's completely different. These people are targeting and 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 roping children into their weird shit. Don't 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 rope the random infl inflation fetish person in there. That is, uh, because it's, he's not done anything wrong. It's yeah. just it's just very funny and very <laughs> embarrassing. It's titled Want. Just Want. We got to show that. It's crazy. Uh, let me grab it. It is but, funny, uh, but, let's they, continue. but the inflation we'll, we'll do that person, after. as far you can as pull we know, up, has baby. done nothing wrong so yeah. far. We have no evidence they've done anything wrong. Next slide. Okay. So next slide. That um, is funny as fuck, though. Trent sent Oliver a video of themselves. 
and said, you kind of look like my last girlfriend in that pic when Oliver oh, was 13. Boy. Oh, boy. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm. What did he send? What is this? The picture of... That's a picture of Oliver at the time. Okay. And Trent no, says Herman, he accompanies no. it with, you kind of look like my last girlfriend in that. Dude. Yeah. And then Oliver says that Trent would always send this photo of them to them that Trent would edit. So Trent sent this to Oliver and said, I think I made you pop out more, Peapod. And then he sent it later, a different, a totally different month, and said, but, but, but. Bruh. Like he would just accompany it with text, I guess. Mamma mia. Um, this is when Oliver was talking about taking a Twitter break. Trent is like, what? Why? It hurts. I'm very worried. Um, just basically like guilting Oliver into staying on Twitter and talking to him, I assume. He says, she's, uh, they said, uh, I'm taking a break. And some friends, not, uh, he said, well, why not? Yeah, I, I just thought it wouldn't hurt to take a little break from Twitter. That's a good idea. I think it's good for anyone to do. And Healthy. he said, it hurts. And then they said question mark. Not leaving for long or anything. <clears throat> Just a small break. And then he said, I know, but not having you tweet is like not having leap of faith taking over for you. <laughs> I'm very worried. Yes. Why? Hmm, because your tweets are fun. Wow. Oh. And then um, this is Oliver said that Trent would never want them to go to sleep. So these are messages of Oliver trying to go to sleep. Are you? Uh, let's see. I'm back now, but I'm going to sleep. Good night. Oh, really? Yes. Good night. No. It's getting late. My sleep medicine's about to make me fall asleep. Good night, Trent. And Trent says, stop taking meds then, LOL. Oh no, my, don't oh leave me. How old is he at the time? God. In his 30s. His 30s? Yeah. To a 13 year yeah. old. This is all just back and forth. She's enabling over and so over many weirdos. Her success, her proximity mm -hmm. to all these kids. Yeah. Because, like, her brother and then also her bestie. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, the access they're getting to kids is nuts. <laughs> oh, Adam said. Ethan, I DM'd you a clip of Trent performing on stage with Colleen. He did go to some shows. Whoa. Well, yeah, so he Trent clearly did because he said, come meet me at the orange. Yeah, the orange show. Here, let me see if this is worth showing or not. And all of this, keep in mind, all of this, all of this is directly enabled by the fame and the access to kids facilitated by Colleen Ballinger. All of this, literally all of this, I sent that link about uh, Colleen's father. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, it's it's fine. Thank you, Adam. <clears throat> yeah, and again, I want, I just want to, sh I'm just showing this because it's funny. I mean, my dad's done embarrassing shit on the internet, okay, <laughs> and we've talked about all of it. But this one is pretty funny. It's pretty good. Yeah. Colleen Ballinger's dad has a feeder fetish, and he made a playlist he doesn't realize is public. <laughs> This is good. Okay. I'm it's sorry. It's called Want. So here's Tim Ballinger. He has a playlist Want with 78 videos that he's made. It's his playlist. Can you title it Want? Yeah. Yes. And then look at what these. What the fuck? Helium belly inflation <laughs> Valentine's Day special. Obsessed. Forced belly inflation. I don't even know what that means. Gain up. I think it's like you you pump your body up. <laughs> To inflate. I just want to be with alone. what? How do they inflate it? With what? I don't know. Okay, well, he's Why this be the drama? Why couldn't this be the big drama? Okay, this is just some old boomer with a with a fetish. He's not doing anything wrong here. Why? Why? Why this guy have to be tangled up with all the fucking pedophiles? Watch his playlist oh, to figure it out. It's gone. Yeah, I think he figured it out. Mentos bloat. It's awesome. Mentos bloat. Again. Again. Oh, I wonder—is that Mentos and Coke? 
Yeah, you they know must. How that, mm -hmm. Yeah, it has a reaction. Well, so this, Ouch. this is pretty. I mean, you learn something new every day on the internet. I it's didn't even. True. They, they fat, determine... fur, fat furs and anime girls weight gain. By comparison, Colleen, da Colleen Ballinger's dad, so far, as far as we can tell, is the least guilty in this entire thing. Colleen Ballinger's dad is just boomering out with his internet fetish while while his fucking family is is targeting children and and ruining the psychiatric the psychological futures of these kids oh man oh man and it was his account because there were some old childhood videos on there that weren't posted anywhere else oh my, oh my god. god you can't hide on the internet boy you cannot hide they will find your inflation fetish Want. playlist called want. Want is so want. like want. 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 want it. Well, he was typing with one now. hand. So <laughs> he didn't have a lot of yeah, yeah. Thank God there wasn't a need playlist. Want, uh, need. Want. need, must have. Ew. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Uh, at least they were all adults. <laughs> Uh, this is the first thing. This is the first thing tonight. I feel like I've been able to laugh at without feeling horrible. The 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 grandpa's inflation fetish playlist is the most innocent thing we've encountered this entire night. It's literally not problematic at all. It's just funny. In the midst of all the other depressing crap we found ourselves wrapped up in. Agree. Agree with that's that. That's frankly... He didn't do anything wrong. That's frankly yeah. the least disturbing yeah. thing. Correct, Ethan! Yes! Look at that! Oh, I knew it! Thank God! It's You've shown us so far. It's just that's funny. Why I didn't... It's frankly... He didn't do anything... Um, yeah. Have. Ew. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, at least they were all adults. Agree. Agree with that's that. That's frankly he didn't do anything wrong. That's frankly yeah. the least disturbing thing you've shown us so far. Like. It's just funny. <laughs> it's just funny. Yeah. He didn't do anything it's wrong. Yeah. It's fine. You know, it's embarrassing, all, but yeah. it's embarrassing. It's funny. He's his. You know, what I mean, I want to make that clear. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He didn't do so anything. this funny. next screenshot, Dang, Cat Lord, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Thank you very much for your support. Deeply appreciate it. Chug Diet Coke, swallow Mento. Worst mistake of my life. Did you end up on 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 that guy's playlist? Is that what you're trying to imply here? Oliver speaking. Uh, Trent says that um, it sounds like Oliver and their friend had sex in like a, a song that they posted, and then um, Oliver says no, it's one of Tim's lyrics, uh, and Trent says, but she says she couldn't it without you and thanked you. Sounds like you two are a couple. LOL. Oh my oh. god. Apparently Trent weird. is getting uh, possessive. Yep. Uh, over we're this just really good friends. I'm just saying it's not like you guys were gay. Getting together. possessive in DMs over a literal child. Uh the next one, he says, if you're doing South Car California, come hang out with me. Um, I'll probably be in a couple years, but I'll be going with my dad. How oh, old will go you too be? Fast? Wait, where, where? I lost my spot. Oh, sorry. He says, What are you like in person? Oh yeah. Kind of similar to how I'm on the internet with my internet friends, but but if it's with people at dance or just kids I don't know, I'm usually anxious. And Trent says, with me, how do you think you'd be around me? Um, if you're doing California, come hang out with me. How old will you be? I'd be at least 14. He keeps asking, how old will you yeah, be? Yeah, there's her, a lot of how her old age, are you. Her it doesn't birthday change ever. doesn't change. No. Yeah, her birthday. I wonder why you would keep asking that. If you were a pedophile who was obsessed with age, I wonder why you would keep asking someone for their age. Huh. Is, is May Bun with the tier one sub, thank you very much for supporting us through this uh, horrific endeavor. Yes, indeed. Uh, the Munka, Munka W is an appropriate emote here. Uh, absolutely. Thank you for supporting the show. This has been a mess. Static. Uh, LA or San Diego or San Francisco, somewhere in uh, Southern California. And then Trent says, hey, you, you are cute. And there it is. Dude, um, The next on. one's really bad. Hey, <laughs> come on, man. And the there it one, is. 
Bada bing. Uh, if he can hear Oliver's normal voice one day, Oliver says, yeah, of course. Um, there's a video somewhere with my normal voice. And Trent says, no, I want one from you. And Oliver oh says, God. she probably knows where one is. I'm not sure. And Trent says, you can make one for me. I just want a special video of you. Holy fuck, How do you hug? Dude. Is there a video? This is so... The groomer family. The fucking groomer family. Oh, make a special video for me, 13-year-old. Fuck. Fuck. Video of it? What the... And the 13-year-old responds with, of me hugging someone? Bruh. <laughs> so again, uh, remind me, <laughs> this is Colleen's <laughs> brother? Yeah. Yes. Is he, so is he, like, involved in her business or, like, no. her... No. So just, just. But he, he, in to, proximity, he to, yes. He tours with her. Yeah, people who watch so Glee knows who he is, but he. Um, no, I would consider then he absolutely does not is. participate. He's in the posse. Like yep. she will say, "Sorry, like Trent likes to be more private." And that also, is, I don't think that's that that's true. Be. No, I, I, think I don't think so either. I think I know why we don't include yeah. Trent in our vlogs. No, I think they know he's yeah. a pedo or pedo adjacent, yep. and Agreed. they're somewhat trying to keep him away from. Yeah, because they acknowledge yeah. that this has happened. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And Which then, is so interesting because um, she did put out that video that was highly requested from people about the Trent special. Like, I want to hear Trent's story. She put him out there. And she did. She did post to, a video with yeah. him. Um, the next one, uh, Trent says, you can text me anytime. We'll listen without judgment. Um, he sent his phone number. Uh, it's de uh, Eurus McProl says it's definitely possible for an adult to be a friend with a 13 year old in a healthy way And this is 200% the wrong way. No, this is like 800% the wrong way This isn't just 200% this is like maybe 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 more like a thousand percent the wrong way There's like 10 ways in which this is wrong. Yes, absolutely adults and children can be friends but weird adults that you meet over the internet via a fandom that you continually DM in private weird, questionable things, asking them to make you videos is so fucked up. It's so many layers of fucked. There's so many layers of fucked constantly asking about their age and when they're going to turn 18 and if they can come visit you and if they can come. That is all. There are so many layers of fucked up. This isn't even not even in the same galaxy. Obviously, adults can be friends with teenagers. Obviously. In fact, if adults couldn't have good, healthy relationships with teenagers, the whole world would be busted because adults need to be able to mentor kids. But this is not even, this is fucked. This is fucked and this is predatory. This is extremely creepy. It's across the line. It's not an appropriate relationship in any way, shape or form. It's uh, uh, manipulative. It's de uh, demanding weird and unhealthy things. It's clearly sexualizing the child. So many, so many levels of wrongness. This is not friendship. This is grooming. Yes. Uh, and then Oliver responded, hey, I really appreciate it, but I don't feel like it's appropriate for me to text you. And I don't think my mom would want me to either. Wow. Mom, I want a vape. Nice try. I, well, good for Oliver, who is, uh, being the adult in the situation, okay. I guess, somehow. Jesus. Yeah. Um, okay, this is the last one. Um, Trent says, I thought you were 16. I have a problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. No, don't even try, bro. We have evidence of so, of you asking like 40 times. Where is that written? Oh, I see. Dude, he is, dude, Oliver's said their age to you like 40 times. Yeah. 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 It was at least six years ago. So you were 10. I was probably six or seven. So I barely remember it, but it was the regular we and not the Wii U. Cool. I thought you were 16. I have a problem. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. I know you'll be pretty as blank, but by the time you're 18, possibly prettier, I just got to get out of the teens as we all do. Wait, but he's 30. What do you yeah, mean by saying, that? No, he's saying you... The, like he's got to stop being attracted too. to... Teenagers? Teenagers? Is that what he means? So... Mamma mia! That is a spicy meatball! Yes. Yeah. So, all of this stuff surfaces. All of this information is now in the public. Miranda sings.
Colleen Ballinger is beginning to lose sponsors on her podcast. Um, two uh, are ZocDoc and One Skin. One Skin, One God. Yep. One Skin said, we were made aware of this previously and have decided to cease the relationship completely. This behavior is appalling and we do not condone it and and support in any form. Yeah, so when the sponsors are forced to put out a statement about how they condone it, that's game over. Yeah. That's pretty much GG. (laughs) That means they're getting so much backlash by just being associated with you. Yeah. That they need to like distance themselves. Mm -hmm. If I make We've been dropped by a lot of sponsors, but I don't think fucking chill. Look. I completely understand getting mad about all the shit, but can we not fucking say violent shit in chat at all? Not even jokes about it. I know a lot of you are joking, but come on, chill, okay? Just chill. I, think any of them I was statements. wondering, did anyone ever make a statement about it? I don't think it? so. We <laughs> not a public quiet, statement. We get quietly dropped, okay? Yeah, so that, not That's any. how you know We're, it's not that serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I've seen, I think what I was thinking, they sometimes write emails. Like, I completely understand why this shit makes people emotional. It's, ex- it's fucking bothering me. This has been like, the most depressing rabbit hole we've decided to follow this all started with a we were laughing at a ukulele video and and now we're here let's just fucking cool it back and they're like oh we don't condone it oh that kind of yeah yeah that kind of counts okay fair enough fair enough it's just an email yeah not like a statement they don't make a pr statement right yeah so the weenies uh, <laughs> all talked to Rolling Stone, and that article came out just before the show. Started. Oh, this just came out. Just yeah. dropped. We oh my this, god! This is yeah. the one we read at the beginning. Oh, we got to look through it. I guess I linked it at the bottom right. So this just came out right now. It came out this morning, yeah. Fans built her an internet empire. Now they're tearing it down. Four former fans of Colleen Ballinger tell Rolling Stones the same access. That made the comedian famous open the door for interaction they describe as toxic, exploitative, and hurtful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yikes. Ay, yeah, yeah. Did they? I, I wonder if they saw the text with her brother. This is what you get for not listening to the Bayonetta 3 soundtrack at the beginning. Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's see. They talk about Adam McIntyre. Beyond Safe Word says, I'm so, so sorry you're learning about this all at once. It's a lot. People told me I needed to see the ukulele apology, and this is where it ended up. And I've done my best. I, we're gonna talk, we'll have the conversation portion in a second. We gotta keep going. We know about that. We gotta finish this. We talk about uh, probably all the shit we just talked about. Yeah, honestly. it's, it's uh, in the individual stories too. Bruh. This is a lot of backstory about her talking about everything. Is there, what else do they go over here? This is the real article, what we're doing now. So, Mm -hmm. the genuine So real, this is so comprehensive. Um, This is next. So Becky tweeted out, I can't believe this went from a Twitter thread to share with former Colleen fans to a Time Magazine interview tomorrow that I mostly accepted to validate myself, which is totally valid, are you kidding? Um, But yes, Time Magazine is coming out with an article interviewing the weenies. Oh man. Yeah. All Which I'm happy for them that they're telling their story. Um, at the end, I just included to all of the weenies, I hope that I told your stories in the most accurate and delicate way possible and that you continue sharing. We are all listening. Love, Olivia. Weenies never die. Thank you. The weenies forever. Oh, Literally. Olivia. Okay, that was that was pretty stunning. Yeah. Uh, okay. You know she's on tour, actually. Oh, yeah. So that's, this is the end of it. All right, so that's the end of it. They only go on, they go on to talk about her being on tour because apparently she's on tour right now. And that looks like that's all they talk about. Olivia did a very good job. I will agree. Although um although we uh although we 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 covered a lot of this, I think that the structure and the added context from Olivia's uh uh background and knowledge of the space was very valuable. And now, and now, it is time, we've reached the point where we are going to go and review the ukulele video. It's time. Now, after all of this nightmare, after going through all of it, we started with the ukulele apology video, and we, which was 
an odd way to begin this. We watched all of the different claims. We read the articles. We have seen the evidence laid out. We're going to listen back to the ukulele video. Then I'm going to talk about my conclusions, and we'll go from there. It's time for us to do the ukulele. We have to re-listen to the ukulele with the new context. Okay, and I'm going to crank this shit up so that everybody can fucking hear it. Because that's just how it's got to be. Hold on. Hold on a second. I got to make sure we got this shit. All right, let's see how this goes. Hey, it's been a while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true though, just as long as it's entertaining to you. So, which part of the things that we looked at today weren't true? I wonder. Hey, you guys having fun? Notice how all aboard the toxic gossip train. You're chugging down the tracks of misinformation. The toxic gossip train. You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station. Toxic gossip train Tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past Cause rumors look like facts if you don't Your past? Tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past Your past that is like literally within the last few years of you deliberately uh, fostering extremely intense personal relationships with literal children to get them to do free work for you while also sending extremely extremely questionable requests for videos and photos and also exposing them to your extremely extremely inappropriate associates and your uh, brother who directly engages in inappropriate sexual uh, uh, flirtatious relationships with a 13 year old Mind the gaps, I won't survive in the crash, but hey. I won't survive in the crash. Currently on tour, currently with 10 million subscribers on YouTube, still had a successful Netflix show for two seasons. At least you're having fun. Uh, hi, everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. Incredible. Inc just, all oh, the second time around, with everything, you wonder why the team maybe said you shouldn't say what you want to say. I'm glad you found a way to sing it, though. So. I am, and... I only want to talk about the facts, so I hope that you'll be willing to listen. Here we go. Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way. Was telling your fans to put tampons in, was telling your, your minor fans to put tampons in their mouth? and take pictures of it and to send to you? Was that a creepy or a loser way? To me, that sounds a lot like a creepy way. I was just trying to be besties with everybody. It's kind of like uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there who keeps coming up to you and going like, hey girl, what's the tea? And you're like, ugh. Um, that was me, but in group chats with my fans. It was weird. I've been sharing my life with group chats and your fans who you later recruited to do free labor for you and emotionally abused by all evidence that we have. Online for over 15 years, I've poured my heart out to you and because of that I feel like I'm talking to my friends, but in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. There were times in the DMs when I would overshare 
details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. Oh my God. Well, that's not very interesting, is it? So let's go on the toxic oh gossip God. train. The locomotive's fueled with hateful accusations. The toxic gossip train. Steamroll over someone's reputation. Toxic gossip train. Hop on board but close your eyes. Otherwise you'll realize that the train is made of lies. And that person you despise maybe didn't deserve to die. But hey. You're not dead. She's not dead. At least you're happy. It's, it's, I said that the first time, but she's definitely not dead, okay? I know, I know I'm like reacting in the same way, but she's not fucking dead, the audacity! The fucking audacity! Having fun. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes, and it's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to take accountability, but that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. Sorry, uh, just a reminder, reminder that the person who's on the screen singing about how, oh, your life is getting ruined, collaborated with another 30-year-old 30, 30 YouTuber, both of whom, like, had a significant, like, I'm, I'm talking orders of magnitude in order to target and smear a literal child who was hurt because of the exploitation that he experienced at her hands. Just just reminder, just so we remember. She sent a hate mob against a teenager and deliberately collaborated to make that teenager look like shit on the internet. Yeah. Um, I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I would never make a mistake like mm. that. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I yeah. didn't realize actually, that all of yeah, actually, yep, yeah. actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. You are perfect, so please criticize me. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little song. Yep. Yep. I know you wanted me to say that I was 100% in the wrong. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. Yeah, I'm sure that the uh, the... Uh, the, the, the kid that you repeatedly mistreated who literally lived their entire young life just made it all up for clout. Sorry, but I don't buy it. And I don't think anybody who watches Adam's stuff, which is the main, the main content of all of these allegations, uh, made any of that up for clout. I just don't buy it. Also, that's fucking rich coming from you who turned your entire family into a fucking content machine that has gotten you 10 million subscribers, a Netflix show, a bunch of media appearances, and an award. That's fucking rich. Talk about turning things into clout. Hey everybody, I found someone new to harass. She did some things that I do not like in her past. So everybody gather around, cause we're about to attack. But not based on facts, oh no. Your loaded lethal weapon is your fingers on the keys. You don't need any armor when you can hide behind a screen. So shoot me down quick in the click and bam. My reputation's deceased. Yeah, okay. Totally. Uh, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about that girl Miranda sings. You know the one. Yeah, her. Uh, she's PG-13. It says that on my website, and it's always been that way. And that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube Kids app. Anyway, um, I didn't realize it was my responsibility to decide what was appropriate for every kid to see. I've always relied on parents to decide if they're comfortable with their families watching my YouTube videos or coming to my live shows. It's not about what kids were seeing. It's about what you were doing to kids. Let's just be clear real quick. It's not about what children were seeing. 
Children can see all kinds of things. Children watch violent movies. Children watch shows with raunchy jokes in them. Children see all kinds of things. It's what you were doing to the children. It was the fact that you were using the bodies and minds of children to grow your platform as a part of your show. You were exposing them to humiliation, sometimes extremely sexually charged uh, humiliation, like when you inspired children uh, young children to try and dress up as slutty as possible so that you'd call them up on this on the stage so you could call them pornographic like that Now have I made some jokes and poor taste? Yes. Have I made lots of dumb mistakes? Yes. Am I sad that there are some fans who feel betrayed? This is the yes. this is the worst. Was my intention to manipulate? No. It doesn't really matter what my intention was, because it seems as though everyone's already decided on that. Let me tell you, it's not very fun to have millions of people all over the world call you the most vile, horrendous, disgusting, life-ruining words that a person can be called, in my opinion. Um, yeah, what about way more people doing that to the little children that you directed them to in your audience when you beefed with children and used your enormous, ungodly, 10 million plus viewer platform against the children you didn't like very much? What about the times when you did that? How do you think that felt for those literal children? I'm sure it's very hard for you and your fucking money stack and your family of, of content creators must be super hard for you. It doesn't matter that these things aren't true. Uh, everyone just believes that you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. Yeah. I wonder why they think that. Do you think maybe they think that because there is sufficient evidence of that, which we have now seen, which now even journalistic outlets have now seen evidence of? Do you think maybe that's the reason they think that of you? Hey, that um, the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer. Oh, oh God, losing. it's even worse the second time. With everything, it's, oh my God. That, why? Oh God, why? Who didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans and I'm not a predator even though a lot of you think so because five years ago I made a fart joke. Should we just bring up the, do, do we, should we bring up the fart joke again? Do you guys remember what the fart joke was? The, the fart joke was because you selected a child wearing a dress and made them spread their legs on the screen or on the stage. And then you pretended that they farted and they got made fun of in front of everybody. Is that really, it wasn't just a fart joke and people weren't mad about a fart joke. They were mad about literally everything else to do with that. And it turns out even your own team was mad about that. Oh man. I already played the clip twice this stream. You guys can just roll back. Mm, even though I know this video won't change anyone's mind about me. Nope. I still felt it was important to Actually, like, it's funny. Come on here. It did change my mind because I started not knowing anything about you. And then after this video, I decided that this was so cringe that I needed to investigate everything. And now I genuinely think that you're a giant piece of shit. And defend myself a little intake accountability and i also wanted to say that to anyone out there who has ever supported me in any capacity i really really appreciate you thank you for what it's worth i never had any bad intentions yeah okay but i do feel like shit. Toxic gossip train 
chugging down the tracks of misinformation. Toxic what misinformation? Make a claim. Way, ticket and manipulation station. Toxic gossip train. You tied me to the tracks and harassed me for my past. Rumors look like facts when you don't mind the gaps. I won't survive in the crash, but hey. I hope you had some fun. You're. She's done it again. Two times in this song, like I'm not gonna. I'm dead now. I'm st I'm dead. You killed me. Actually, you know, I feel like maybe I should. You guys know something. Um, it seems like maybe you're confused about something. I don't know. Let me try to help. Um. Sometimes people make a mistake and it doesn't make them a horrible person, whoa. Sometimes people can make a mistake and they're still a good person. Crazy, I know. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you don't have to take that mistake, oh no. And twist it up and grind it and add some lies to it and pulverize it and stab it with knives and ruin a life and oh no sometimes people can make a mistake it doesn't mean you gotta send them hate oh no sometimes people can make a mistake and you can kindly let them know and help them to grow Some this is fucking sickening Man, after everything, this is fucking... I thought it was cringe before, but it's unironically sickening at this point. You need to... You needed your hand held as an adult manipulating children and fucking bullying children and fucking asking children for ass pics and fucking sending lingerie to children. You needed the hand? No. Holy shit, no. Holy God, no. Yes, and as Sasha Love points out in chat, Adam's first video was kindly letting her know. Sometimes people make mistakes simply because they made a mistake. And that mistake doesn't make them a terrible human makes them a human. Man, this is sickening. But what do I know? True. Fuck me, right? Yep. Yep. Wow. So, um... So... Holy fuck. The second time through, watching this after we've gone through everything, dear God, dear God, what an absolute horrible nightmare. Minimized everything we, know over, we, we went over to a fart joke, kept saying it was a mistake. Nothing about this situation was an oopsie. Nothing about this situation was a mistake. The people who are mad about this are not just mad about a mistake. The, the, uh, notice that the song doesn't actually bring up any specific lies. It just attempts to paint everything as a lie. This is like Idiot's Darvo, straight up. Uh, not in addition to being one of the cringiest things I've ever experienced in my entire life something so cringy that I decided to to change my usual approach to drama in order to cover it in real time to do a live investigation with all of you in real time in addition oh god in addition to all of that it's just so stupid it's such a pathetic and embarrassing attempt to just 
Uh, literally, if you guys don't know what, for, for those who are watching who maybe don't know what Darvo is, deny, uh, uh, deny abuser, uh, sorry. <clears throat> Deny abuse, reverse victim, and offender. That's what Darvo means. It's a term that uh, that abusers will use when confronted with their abuse in order to make it seem like actually they're the victims. They will deny that they ever did the abuse. They will reverse the victim and the offender. They'll say, oh no, actually I'm being abused. Even when the evidence is directly in your face, even when we now have seen that not just us here today went over all of the receipts, but that actual journalists have verified this stuff. And we know that the people in question are literal kids, that some of them were 14 or 13 at the time of this stuff happening. These are children, but no, somehow we're supposed to believe that the giant YouTuber with a TV special and a million bucks is, is actually the real victim here. Not and that they're just being canceled by the cancellation mob over a fart joke. Yeah, we need to we need to we need to do a Thanos snap on ukuleles. Somebody needs to be like, "Fine, I'll do it myself." And all ukuleles dissolve. I I can't even believe it. Okay, let's talk about conclusions real quick, okay guys? Because that's what we do at the end of every Drama Mama investigation. Um, by the way, if you've enjoyed this deep dive, this very deep dive, uh, if you found it informative, please press subscribe down below, make sure you ring the bell and press the like button. Uh, what I do when I do a drama mama is I try to pick dramas that are important and or interesting. Uh, and we watch all the receipts that we have available to us. We try to get as much evidence as possible before we come to a conclusion. Now we are entering into the conclusion portion, okay? What's the conclusion? Uh, Miranda Sings, AKA uh, 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 Colleen here, um, <laughs> as far as I can tell, with all the evidence that we've seen, uh, has a history of, of f building incredibly inappropriate, incredibly parasocial relationships with, with very young teens. It also appears that she has a history of making very uncomfortable and inappropriate jokes that put children on the spot and also expose children to potential predation from predators in her audience. Um, there is a history of making weird and or sexual comments towards children. Um, but in, on top of all of that, um, Colleen Ballinger, AKA Miranda Sings, uh, by all evidence that we've seen today, uh, uh, seems to have used her parasocial relationship with incredibly young super fans to rope them in to emotionally unstable and exploitative relationships where she could get free social media promotion and free labor from these young fans um, without having to, to ever pay them uh, while also using them as basically a, a, a free therapist, which is incredibly weird to say. Uh, she would unload emotional uh, uh, baggage onto the shoulders of literal teenagers. Um, she made numerous positions, I mean, including going so far as to send lingerie to a, a, a person that she knew was 14. Um, and uh, all of this has been responded to by a ukulele song that says, oh, I made a little oopsie, we're all human. Uh, I believe that everything that we've seen is a pretty clear-cut example of grooming behavior. Um, now, we have not had any evidence that Colleen herself engaged in any explicit sexual abuse, although she did solicit ass pics from a minor, which I believe is, is sexual abuse, although it didn't actually happen. So there was an attempt there, but we did see that people people in her inner circle did, uh, including we had a significant amount of rather credible evidence uh, that her uh, her brother 
uh, did indeed attempt on multiple occasions to engage in a, uh, to meet up with a literal 13 year old who he was put into contact with directly through the Miranda sh Sings show, okay? So the conclusion is, fuck this person, and this is fucking horrible. And furthermore, this situation highlights the absolute madness of the current state of celebrity and the current state of the internet. There are millions and millions of children who are being given direct access to predators on the internet via popular platforms and in ways that seem mundane. And it's horrible, okay? These these people are able to use their celebrity status. They're able to use their access to these children to build, to, to literally build hyper familiar relationships with them that they then take advantage of. And a lot of this happens because people just don't pay attention because people don't listen and don't look for red flags because they don't say, okay, we need to put a line here. We need to put a boundary here. We need, it's not just a parent's problem. It's not just a YouTube problem. It's an all-around problem with the internet. The internet is move, moves at such an incredible pace and has such a normalcy for parasocial relationships with no boundaries whatsoever that this shit is all over the place. And a lot of it happens in in chat rooms, in uh, in Twitter DMs, in Discord chats where none of it can ever be recorded except for when people do stuff like this, when they take time to document this, th this stuff. It's really fucking important that people are made aware of this, not so that they become afraid of one another or not because they're gonna be angry or should be scared of pedophiles around every corner, but rather so that they can understand basic uh, ways to look out for one another, basic ways that people should be looking out for minors that are on the internet basic ways that people should be looking out for themselves if you're a young person on the internet, basic ways that, that parents should be looking out for their kids, that other content creators should be looking out to watch other content creators for, okay? This is a thing that requires a general awareness and a change in approach. People need to protect one another. If you're in a group and you see people behaving like this, you see these red flags, talk to somebody. Talk to the person who might be targeted. Talk to somebody who might be able to help. Get a second pair of eyes on it. I'm not saying that every single situation is going to be a, uh, a, a, a Colleen Ballinger situation. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think that every single uh, potentially, there are some things that are actually mistakes, but this situation is far from mistakes. This is a systemic approach of uh, targeting children that are super fans, bringing them into the fold, getting them closer and exploiting them. It is terrible. And this sort of shit can only be stopped by People learning how to watch out for it. People learning the signs, people watching out for one another, people protecting one another in real ways. And it's really fucking important. I really, really want people to take this type of internet safety seriously and also to take, um, the parasocial tar targeting of children, you know, seriously. There are a ton of huge content creators that are deliberately targeting their, their content at children, knowing that children are easy to manipulate. And by the way, it's not just on YouTube either, because I could also point out a, a, a side issue that's slightly connected to this. Things like, uh, like, um, like mobile apps that target children and try to get them into gambling by taking advantage of the fact that children don't know any better yet. And what's even worse, there are content creators who make their content targeted at children and then sell them gambling shit. What a horrific and shocking situation. 
I am glad that we talked about it, although I will admit that this has been incredibly, incredibly draining. I really hope that, I, I, I have to say, the fact that this ukulele video is blowing up is encouraging in the sense that I think a lot, it will inspire a lot of people to actually look into it and actually learn what's going on and learn about this shit before it hurts someone that they care about. Because this type of, of this is so far beyond mistakes. I said before, it is true that the internet in a lot of ways is still a frontier and there are very few safeguards. There's a lot of dangerous stuff that just exists on the internet. And there are also mistakes that can happen, but this was not mistakes. This is not even a series of mistakes. This is a whole bunch of extremely bad behavior uh, uh, targeting children. Children who are vulnerable and who've now been severely hurt. I hope this is used by the left to, to demonstrate what actual fucking grooming is. Yeah, it should be. This is an illustration of exactly the type of stuff. And it's not from, it's not from some random person reading a book at school. It's not from some random uh, person just performing a show. It's from a famous celebrity who has Netflix shows and, uh, and, and is, 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 uh, is a, a, a child star and has a teen choice awards and a bunch of people looking the other way, a bunch of people looking the other way while they manipulate. Yeah, where are all the child protectors when you need them? Well, it's interesting. They seem, they only seem interested in protecting children when it fits with the rest of their fucked up worldview. Not when it's like the type of stuff that everybody's been telling them this is a problem. Not when it's like a, 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 a celebrity, a celebrity using their celebrity status to influence and get, get access to children a celebrity family, numerous members using that access to get access to children and exploit them. It's funny because the mechanism here, like I mentioned earlier, is the exact same one that uh, we see in most child abuse cases a person in a position of power who has uh, uh, plausible deniability in their access to children, in this case, a child entertainer, in other cases, perhaps a priest or a principal or a school, uh, a, a person in a position of power in a school, like a teacher or a gym teacher, people who have familiarity and plausible deniability in their access to children who, who target and get to know their victims over a over a long period of time that is the actual way that child abuse happens most commonly it's not through fucking random uh advertisements or satanic magic it's not through a a a, a secret group of uh, uh magical elites it is mundane it is celebrities using their uh, celebrities using their access and their clout to silence people, to build relationships that are inappropriate over time. It's priests who have access to kids who get to be a counselor and have lots of alone time and get to say, "This is our little secret." Most child abuse comes from friends and family, and if you'll notice in this case, Colleen went out of her way to make these kids her friends. She used her massive reach to, to, to create little friends groups of children. We gotta fight this shit. I'm actually very, very glad that I ended up covering this today despite it uh, being a total derailing from what I had planned. I think this is a really important thing. This is the type of topic that I think is important to talk about with drama mamas. This is the type of thing that I want drama mamas to be able to highlight. 
I want the drama mama to be able to focus on important drama and actually walk away with something that people can learn from and make the world a better place with. And this is the type of stuff that awareness is really, really important. This is a really good example of child sexual abuse and grooming, which is something that take, requires time, access, and influence. There is zero statistical data on it just being outgroup degenerates. Yeah, of course, there's a ton of people who, who want you to think that, uh, that all abuse happens from the scary foreigner or the scary gay person or the scary whatever, when in reality, it's incredibly mundane things like a celebrity. John K says, this was a fantastic, important dive and I hated every moment. Thank you for your service. I'm not gonna lie, this has been really draining. It's often family members. Yeah, family members is the most common one. It's just that stuff doesn't tend to get televised. Celebrities being able to abuse their fans is not a new thing, okay? It's a thing that has been around for a very long time. It's just that the internet has made it harder to keep track of in some ways. However, it's also, the internet has also made it easier to expose if we take the time to do so.